You'll have to wait, I was reading a monkey comic. Um. <laughs> uh, let's, let's just go to gameplay. Let's just go to gameplay today. I need to pause that. I, I, here's me hoping that I didn't have YouTube going through here. Uh, also, my, my music hasn't started yet because I was distracted reading a monkey comic. Uh, for anyone who saw my tweet, I have a uh, bad apple monster right now. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Um, but it's just making me think of this song. So I'm playing the bad apple song. Uh, I know last time we st I streamed Spotify and like, just like the footage connection to Twitch was a little bit buggy. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Wasn't my end. Um, but hopefully things work good now. But hi guys, welcome to stream. Hey, hi, hello. Uh, I'm gonna write this song. What's funny is I added this song to my stream playlist specifically for today because of the drink that I have. And then when I hit play on shuffle for the playlist, this is the first song that it did. So I'm just kind of sticking with it right now. Um, but welcome back to Hardcore World. We're gonna have a vibe. I'm sorry I didn't stream this weekend like, I, like I've been trying to do. Um, Friday... I got taken out to tip hub with with my with my dad and his girlfriend and then my sister and her baby and her boyfriend uh for a little family meal uh and we were out we weren't out super late we had to leave the pub by eight because we had a baby with us and i don't let kids stay there past eight o'clock um you won't lie right now your friend is they forced me to build Genshin characters. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see. Get good background noise. That's what you need. I haven't played Genshin in fucking forever. Jesus Christ. I need to... I, I've been trying to play ZZZ because I want to get Jane Doe. I'm obsessed with her. She's beautiful, but I, I haven't been doing a good job at it. Um, Just building characters, man. It takes so long. It takes so long. In Genshin, at least, like I have at least one character of every element built, so I don't have to bother. But then I want to build the new characters that I get, and then I'm just like, ugh, I haven't even built my Alucino. I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm such a wreck. I'm such a wreck. Um, but yeah, Friday I was out at the pub, and then we got back at like nine, half nine ish, and after that, um, we were we were playing fucking Mario Kart on the Wii and Trivial Pursuit on the Switch, and then I came upstairs to have a nap because I was fucking exhausted from social interaction. Um. But that was that, and then Saturday I wanted to stream, but I ended up watching fucking The Dragon Prince and Bojack Horseman with Mars um, all day. So that was my day. Here's, here's, here's a recommendation. If you have mental health issues and are like uh, very depressed, don't watch Bojack Horseman. It's a really, really like well-written show that I, I, I'd heard like clips from it that had made me go, wow, this seems like really interesting because they're talking that like, there's one character who basically like talks about being ace but not knowing what being ace is and it's like yo that's awesome um but the rest of the show is uh ah uh, oh there's a lot that it's it's a heavy show for something with animated animals in it um uh, and furries so interesting though and the dragon prince season one is very very good a bit predictable but very very good uh not all of it's predictable some of it i'm like hmm Hmm, some of it I have theories about, but it's it's very, very good and I'm enjoying it a lot. And then yesterday, yesterday was a law day for Chris Chilzo and Charlie Swarm on Mithril. And and their law in particular is um stuff that I planned for them because uh Chris couldn't play on a server for ages, and when he was finally able to, needed stuff to do. So I wrote him a plot line. And Charlie fit the best of it and also didn't get the chance to do the stuff that they had planned because of school and life and all that kind of stuff. Charlie doesn't stream a lot. So yeah, I, I had to, I was helping them out with that. Um I, I highly recommend it. Uh I don't know if it's on up on Charlie's Twitch still. I'm not sure if Charlie's VODs save. If they don't save, some someone someone go check. Um wait, uh the, the, I'll do a shout out. Shout out it's that swarm. Is it one underscore or two underscores? Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. <laughs> because if I get my best friend's Twitch wrong. Oh no, it's it's does there's no underscores. That's um it's just that song. Okay. There you go. Someone go check Charlie's Twitch and tell me 
if the VOD is up or not. Because if it's not up, I will I will message Charlie um like right now and ask them to publish it. Uh Chris Chilzo is gonna be releasing it as a YouTube video, but I do not know when that is going to happen because Chris Chilzo is a very busy man. Chris Chilzo is a very, very busy man. So um it is wonderful. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. But yeah, I was helping out with that last night, so if you're watching that stream, you would have heard me vibing with them. Uh, at some point, Charlie deafened to talk to chat, and me and Chris legitimately were just watching Power Rangers and then One Piece, and it was a wonderful time. Um, <laughs> would, me, me and Chris Chilzer just watch a lot of anime together, and it's a very, very fun experience. Um, but part of the reason I had that dinner on Friday was because my dad has gone away for a couple of weeks, and by a couple of weeks I mean like just over a week and I am home alone. I am f fending for myself. I did the productive thing to fix my, not to fix my ADHD, but to manage my undiagnosed ADHD. I looked through my fridge, I wrote down the expiry dates of all the food in it and put them on a sticky note on the fridge door so I know what to eat every day. I had to do mental gymnastics because basically all the food in my fridge goes out, not today, but tomorrow, and then consecutively every other day. So like, Something goes out the day tomorrow, something goes out the day after, something goes out the day after. So I had to figure out what I was going to freeze and what I was going to eat, and and my brain, my brain got fried. Um, But it means that I, I'm not going to guarantee you guys that we're going to have a lot of streams this week, because I don't want to overdo it. Um, I am a little bit sad, because every time I come back to stream, I see that I've lost like 20 followers, and I was so happy to be at 7k. Um, but it, it's it's the price that I pay for, for being less consistent, for being around not as much and not doing anything to promote myself. Um, that, that's just that's just a thing. That's just a, a streamer um, casualty, I suppose. But who cares, really? Oh, Minecraft Hardcore World last week and you spawned there was a cornflower and a poppy right next to me. Oh, oh, that world is cursed. I hope you live for a very long time. Um, let's see how the chicken farm is doing. Estelle, hello. Oh, this is doing pretty well, actually. I'm just glad to have the feathers, honestly. I'm going to rebuild this at some point in another location, and then we can cry about the difficulty of it, because I hate chickens. Um, Actually, whilst I'm here, I'm going to breed my cows. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm at least going to stream again, like, Friday or this weekend, because I do legitimately uh, just, just want to, and since I have the luxury of being home alone, um, we're going to do that. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna guarantee days. I do have a recording scheduled for Saturday, I think. So I know. I know 100% nothing's happening on that day, because I have mithril shit I need to put together and fix. Um. Okay. Let's just let's just get in in the cow pen. Yep. Everybody. 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 Make a baby. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Now everybody, give me your children. Yep. Come on. Go there. Any of the little legs down there? Probably not. There we go. Time for slaughter! Woo! I lost my train of thought because I was focusing so much on killing the cows. Um, but yeah, I, mith mithril stuff is going on. Um, I, I'll tell you guys now. First of all, go watch Charlie's stream from yesterday and then Chris Chilzo's video when it comes out, because I'm sure... I know Chris did his, his own little lore moment after Charlie left, so there'll be some exclusive extra content um, for, for a minute or two in that, which will be very, very fun. Um, always nice to see other people's perspectives, even if it all seems very similar. You guys can come back over now. Your parents are dead. You're all back, cows. It's okay. Just in time to hear slaughter. Wonderful, Lich. Wonderful. Just in time. Just in time. Um, there we go. Uh, you're streaming some of my friends. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hello, Obby. Hello. It's been a very long time. Hi. I hope you're doing doing well. I hope you're doing very very well. Uh, but yeah, next Mithril S and P thing. Uh, it's gonna be a my a, a me stream, but it's not gonna be. For a while. <laughs> oh, I just realized I got two. Oh, I'll put it in here. Um, and by a while, I mean, um, let me actually check the day. It's not, not this weekend, not next weekend. It's the weekend after. 
um, the second to last weekend of the month. Uh, because I have stuff to plan and people are busy and it's 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 a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort. But I realized, aside from the finale, there's only three cinematics that need to be made. Um, and two of them are recorded. Um, and one of them has all the voice lines done and just has to be edited together. So that's the vibe that's going with all of that right now. Um, oh my god, Chris Chilzo, I was just talking about you and the lore that you did yesterday and are going to be posting on YouTube. I, I was literally just talking about you. Oh my god. Are those maps I picked up yesterday of value? Nope! I, I'm pretty sure those maps are, are literally just um, supposed to be the locations of the two other camps that you've been to. I think one of the camps we never built, so it was just a theoretical, and the other one is the actual placement of the one that you and Mars visited together. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just the other locations of places you've been. I don't think that read very well, but uh, I know Mars left those there for that purpose. Okie dokie, wonderful, wonderful, you're doing good, oh, be... It's your streams, oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, let me get to the point of what we're actually doing today. Um, for anyone who has been in the hardcore world recently, also I had to check my F3 to see how many days this world was going. It's like 267, probably a couple more now because I've spent so much time um doing this bullshit do i have two of those no i only have one of those okay um what we're gonna be doing thank you so much ash for the gift sub thank you thank you thank you you're so wonderful what we are gonna be doing is we discovered last stream that my iron farm here uh is broken uh so somehow the villagers died i think there's about two or three villagers remaining in one of the holes and all the others are dead um don't know how that happened don't know what happened probably something um, but it's not great when my iron farm doesn't function. But the good news is, um, we are moving over to this mushroom island eventually, and we've been setting up a farms area up top here, which is closer to it than, like, my current house is. So it won't be as much as a, of, of a trek once I've actually moved, but we haven't moved yet. Um, and we've done a creeper farm, we've done a new sugar game farm, because this was our old shitty one that I first made because I needed... I don't even know what I needed it for, now that I think about it. I think I did set it up for, for rockets, but it was really shit. Even though it does work, like, perfectly fine. Um, I just hadn't been hanging around the base a lot. Yeah, you can see it. It's got a lot of stuff in it. A decent amount of stuff in it. It's just small. So we built those, and now we're going to go over and we're going to build this exact same iron farm, and also a villager breeder, because I'm going to need one of those. Um... Because we have a village over here that is, um, I blocked off all the doors because it's one of the things I like to do when I am playing Minecraft and just exploring, uh, in survival or in single player, at least. I think if I'm on a server, there's not really much of a point. Um, but once you load in a village, it kind of gives the game free, free room to kill all those villagers. Um... <laughs> I think it's worse if it's on the server because um, then there's like uptime so there's more chance for things to happen but just for my own peace of mind I trap all the villagers in their houses and block off the doors. Hi Evan, welcome back. Um, and uh, yeah I want to I want to make sure that any villagers I find I can get villagers from if I need them especially since my last villagers got turned into witches because I forgot lightning could hit them. Ah! Uh, it's okay. Oh, so oh, Obi has a question. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, again. Oh, oh no, Obi, Obi no. Oh, let me. Okay, the Mithril SMP is a dying corpse. Um, the Mithril SMP is coming to an end. It is my intention for it to finish by the end of this year. It was supposed to end the beginning of this year, but I'm trying to close out the plot. And right now, all of the members are like really, like we're, we're all working hard behind the scenes to do everything that we can to finish things off. Um, so applications are not going to be opening for the Mithril SMP again. Um, it is, it is, I am literally trying to kill it. Um, it is a battle. It is gripping me by the throat and I'm gripping it by its throat. 
Um, and we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Um, however, uh, I am going to be doing future law SMPs, um, whether I am just like a part of them or like running them or whatever other thing is going on with them. Uh, there are going to be others in the future. And hopefully, if people from Mithril um, want to be, th uh, a lot of them will be a part of it. Um, so look out, look out for that. Uh, I already answered that question. You see, I wasn't even looking at chat. Look at me, I'm psychic. Uh, but yeah, if you just like keep following the Mithril Twitter on on thing, if you do uh, exclamation mark Mithril in in the chat, I'm sure someone's gonna beat me to it. Uh, where's my button? There's my button. Yeah. That's the card. If you if you make sure you're following the Twitter and are in the Discord, you'll be able to keep up with what is happening because I do not have like an ETA on how long after Mithril um my next project will be, or even confirmation if I'm gonna be able to start a new project after Mithril, because it really comes down to if I can keep the deal with my current server host. Um, because right now, my server host, I know the people running it, and I don't pay for it. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if that deal is going to continue after Mithril ends, so I need to sort out those logistics before I can, like, fully get into grips with anything else. But I, I do I do have plans, I do have intention to do another SMP. I, I, it's all been conceptualized, it just hasn't been, like, nothing's gone into it yet um you go and pray for me oh thank you thank you thank you but yeah there definitely will be more projects in the future okay so what we need here is i need to do a head count of all the villagers um so i think what we're gonna do is i'm going to just open the door and remove the dirt from any thing that doesn't have a villager in it and then I have a couple blocks on me. Um, because basically I need to kind of decimate this area and flatten it so that I can start building. Actually, if I did it over here, I wouldn't really have to change anything. Um, because this is probably a, a perfectly big enough area. I just need to make a villager breeder. Um, nobody in here. Okay. Anyone in there? No, I don't believe so. I how many villagers are in this village? I there's definitely some because they're on my map. Are they free? No. This is the house that I hid in. You. You have a villager in you because you're double. Yes, okay. And then you also have a villager. Um and then I guess there's this one over here. Okay. Is there? Yes, there is. Okay. You can tell them my minimap. So I guess I'll destroy it. I'm going to destroy this and I'm going to build the villager breeder in this space here. Um, and then we'll, we'll work everything else out. Oh, I should have brought some rails. I didn't bring rails. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. Look on something low Minecraft wise. Yeah, hang on. Awesome, awesome. That's so sweet, Ovi. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and who knows? Before my next project starts, maybe we'll just find ourselves on on the same one at some point. Who knows? Who knows? It would be very cute. Um. Thank you. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited for for Mithril to end. I need to actually get my shock boxes. I've got two. Um, we're gonna put stuff into them. Well, there's they're already stacked with stuff. I just need to, um, grab everything. So we're gonna use this to build the villager breeder, and that's also what these white beds are for, and these uh, the composters. So let me. Oh, I didn't. Guys, I'm stupid. Guys, I'm stupid. I didn't bring a fucking hoe. Uh, it's it's okay. It's all right. I, 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 I am a hoe. Uh, wait, no, that's not correct. Um, 
off in the summer and let me to me fall in flames Erase myself and let go Started over again in Mexico Friends, they don't love you They just love a hotel suite But I don't care, you think Long as it's about me and find happiness in misery. Sorry, I got lost in the source for a minute. What's going on? <laughs> no, your next episode is going to be called. You figured out what. Wait. You figured it out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful news. Um, the village breeder will come with a roof to avoid the lightning. It will! It will! I don't have a lightning rod on me. Um, I don't have a lightning rod on me. But I do have um, the foolproof glass ceiling that is notably lightning resistant. Um, I did steal most of it from the old villager breeder. My my like first base just kind of destroyed itself because of my incompetence. I don't know what happened to the... Um, I don't. I do not know what happened to the zombie, uh, the, the the villagers in the iron farm there. I could not tell you. Um, I might have done something to fuck it up and and like allow it to break itself, but I don't think I did. I don't. I don't believe I did. And the villagers should have been able to like get away if there was an issue. So I I I I truly have no clue. Um. But it's it's whatever. It's whatever. Uh we're gonna we're gonna fix this up. We're gonna do this shit. Put in somehow. That shouldn't no, no that can't that can't be possible. Um, because they were all like three by three spaces with zombies in a boat. Um, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't two zombies in the boat. So maybe I should put like a chicken in the boat, because all I can think about is when the when the villagers woke up from their sleep um they they might have gotten in the boat with the zombie that that's the only logical thing i can think about which kind of would have been my fault for having the boat be facing them in the first place uh <laughs> So maybe it was my fault. Maybe, maybe again, it's just my my blatant incompetence. Um, but you know what? That's okay. We 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 all we all live. We all make mistakes. We all get a couple of villagers murdered. Uh, it happens. It happens. Okay. So what I'm thinking for this, and I'm gonna make this really bad and complicated for myself. Um. This is the level that the farm um that the the farm is going to be on over there. So I'm going to do the villager breeder here, and I don't remember exactly how big it's supposed to be, so I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, did you ever watch Murder Drones? I have yet to see Murder Drones. I keep seeing uh, a clip of that one crazy robot going, hello Uzi, hi N. Uh, and it's it's really cute. Uh, she's crazy core and I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, but I, I have yet to watch Murder Drones. It is on my list. It is one of the many shows on my list, but it is on my list. Uh, I'll probably end up watching it um, relatively soon. It, appe it appeals to me more than, um, than what's it's called. It appeals to me more than the Amazing Digital Circus. Not that that doesn't appeal to me, but um, I, I like the edginess that Murder Drones seems to seems to have going for it. Uh, okay, so this is this is our base, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a door here, and there's a reason that there is a door. Oh wait, I actually can't have a door there. Shit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Break me. You know what? No, I can. I can. Because I'll I'll do this. I'll do this. Wait, I need to pick up 
um, these. The fences. There we go. What I'm doing basically here is um, because the way of getting the villagers out after they have been birthed into this world, into this cruel existence, is by um, the way we get them out is by um, them falling down a chute, basically. Um, this is going to be where they fall down into. So this will be my entrance and I'll put a fence gate here. Um, and I'll, and then I'll probably, actually, I'll probably just won't have a door if this is what I'm doing. Um, I won't have a door. And I'll just have like a minecart that I can use to cart them over to their spaces. Cause I have rails at home and I have plenty of iron to, to make more. And this place just needs to be, uh, three blocks tall technically, but I'll sort that one in a minute. Um... So cool too, because you watch it from the first episode, binge it all the way. You can legit see the quality improve over the episodes over the past three years. And that's one of the problems with uh, indie animation projects. It's just how long it takes for episodes to release. Um, not that it's really a problem. It's more so like for someone who's interested in the series, it can be a little bit like, oh, I have to wait so long for the next episode. I'm so sad. Um, but it's also kind of good in other aspects. Me personally, I'm a really big fan of uh, Hell of a Hell of a Boss, um, which isn't technically an indie animated project, but it's it's on YouTube. It's free to view. You you know, it's it's that kind of um, vibe of things. Um, I'm gonna use like straight logs for this as like a transition um, because I think I think I'm I think I'm cute. This is where I'm gonna put the dirt. Um, Oh, wait, this is not going to properly work because of the water. Wait, I will use a slab. Perfect. I am so smart, guys. I am so smart. Um, whenever I watch Hell of a Boss, I kind of just like binge watch the series from the beginning, like the pilot all the way through to the most recent episode. Um, I don't think I actually did that when I watched Apology Tour, now that I think about it. Um, but then again, I, I watched Apology Tour with Charlie because it was one of the episodes where like when people hype something up or I see people freaking out about something on on the internet it kind of makes my brain go ah no like it it makes me it makes me scared <laughs> it makes me scared and then I don't watch the thing um and I also have just remembered that I also need a back area for this so let me that middle yeah okay we'll do we'll do this um because it's it's this part that is gonna be where it comes out so the way that this works i'm gonna look up a picture quickly because <laughs> i don't remember um minecraft reader I won't back out. As if you believe me. Okay, I did like a two, a two by two kind of thing last time I did this, but this one just has a one by one, so we're gonna just do that because I think it'll be easier. So they will fall down here. This there'll be a trapdoor here that we can have open, and the babies will fall down and go into here. So we do need um uh just we don't even need like a big back area but we have this um and then uh sorry i'm messing up slightly because i'm trying to keep it in theme with the rest of this shit um ba, 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 to become one of souls of being connected a bond that's stronger than word actually this doesn't even matter because this is also going to be thingamabob um because everything in there is dirt and then this is this and then that's the bit where it falls i've got four beds to put into this room so this actually goes up to here because I need enough space for the four beds. 
and also for them to like get out of bed. So this goes like this. There. And then they can all spawn on these two blocks when they get out of bed. And that is how the room works. And then all of this is dirt. Um, let me get some torches out because we want to make sure this place is nice and well lit up. And this will be our exit, and this will be where they fall down. Uh, and then we'll go around here. Uh, do a circus now. The music is made especially for the climax. It's amazing. I've heard. Um, I want. I was gonna say fan song, but it actually has the actual voice actors in it because they're like the the inter like. The, the internet indie voice actors, so they do a lot of like fan stuff for their own projects, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but it was like a digital circus song that wasn't in the show, but it was like the voice actors were singing it, and I was like, yo, that's so cool! Hey! I know um, the person who used to voice Angel Dust is in that show. I think they play Jax, um, and, and they do stuff, and I thought that was really fun. Uh, oh, I have these ones. Nice, nice. Lie down, two and J. Um, be great, hopefully. Yeah, Chris, Chris has been showing me One Piece. Um, I think my plan is, I think one day I would love to watch like the full, um, a thousand episode anime that just is never ending. But, um, for my own attention span and livelihood, I think I might watch the Netflix version. Um, because I've heard very good things about it. And then when the remake of the show that is supposed to be more concise, I think, uh, is the word for it, comes out, I'm 100% I'm going to watch that. Uh, because I think that would be a delightful time. Uh, you're playing Splatoon with people? Ah, oh, very fun. I literally bought Nintendo Online subscription for a year because I got Splatoon free. And I'd always wanted to play a Splatoon game. And then I didn't play the Splatoon game. <laughs> I have it! I have it on my Switch! I bought it like the week it released. I I just haven't played it. Um And that's like a, a, a definite me problem. Um I probably will boot it up at some point. It's because like I didn't have my Switch connected for a while or or something. It's a, it's an excuse, I know. I'm just very bad at playing games which aren't on my PC. Um I'm just very bad at everything, basically. Um but uh, I, I probably will boot it up to play at least a single player campaign because I really enjoyed it. And maybe when I get a job again, I'll I'll get Nintendo Online just so I can I can do that. Um, because that would be very very fun. Uh, I get it. Cute myself. I really like Splatoon as a concept because <laughs> I'm gonna get into fucking Splatoon lore, guys. It's really cool. Um, because Splatoon is a post-apocalypse where like the whole premise is that cephalopods squids and and octopuses and these creatures who like literally in in nature in the real world have like insane genetics for adaptability um there's a game theory about it one of the like old map pat ones i can't believe we say old map pat ones now i'm so i'm so depressed uh, <laughs> i miss you map pat um yeah he still exists it's fine um but there's 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 that um and it, it goes into a lot of the stuff but it's it's a fully post-apocalyptic world where all the humans have died out um and the the it's not a central point of the game but when you're doing the single player campaign especially you can see in all three of the games like yeah these are remnants of like the human world this is like past knowledge and and stuff that points all this the octo expansion of splatoon 2 you literally find a creation of human civilization who is trying to destroy the fucking world um because it's it's like creators are dead and like all of this stuff and i should sleep i should i should go to bed i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> let's go to bed because i have not lit up this whole area yet when you're doing the same thing Move out of the other. Maybe that should be um 
job one is actually lighting this place up. Uh, <laughs> that would be a smart thing to do. Am I going to do it? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, and then we need these. They only really need to be two blocks high um, because they can't jump out of, of that. And nothing's going to get in here once I put the roof on it. So, so that will, that will keep them safe. I'm so good to my villagers. Intentional, you can't, you can't, what do you mean you can't hear the music? You hear the music. It might be kind of quiet, um, but it is, it is there. I don't know what I can do. I can turn it up. If it, if it's too quiet for you guys. Um, I turned it up a little bit. If it's too loud, let me know. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. It is playing. Buddy, you want me down? I might just be drowning out with my voice because I, I, I have been known to be a little bit loud, if you can believe it. I have been known to be a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that fucking jump scared me. Ash, clip it. <laughs> I know you're already going to. The clipper. If I tell you to, it's less embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that scared the fucking shit out of me. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Hurts to be nobody. Easy to lose both ways. Okay, there's that, and I, you know what, I, uh, it's, hmm. Hmm. It needs to be two. I'm gonna make it three just because I need to put a glass ceiling in and I I this will be easier and will look nicer from the outside. How am I gonna get the villagers into this? Haha! <laughs> I don't fucking know. I haven't fought that far ahead yet. I have not fought that far ahead. I have decided we're destroying this building though, because it's in my way. It is in my way, and that is just that is just illegal. That's just not allowed. That's just not allowed in my presence! Da, 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 boo, 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 boo. Whatever stuff was I going to talk about today? I came today without a plan. I just kind of felt bad for not streaming uh, last week and I'm home alone and it seemed like a, a good thing, a fun thing to do. Because uh, I like streaming and I want to do it again more. Um, and I don't really play Minecraft off of stream. My current, uh, my current like, life has been watching shows with with Mars Marzaki or or Chris Chilzo whenever I'm graced of his presence. Um, <laughs> um uh driving sometimes to, to ver varying degrees of success. Um I I've decided I don't like driving with my dad. Uh <laughs> he's just a little bit scary. Um, my, my dad, uh, was served in the army for a very long time. And during that service, he also, um, had the position as the, the army's personal driving instructor for like, uh, cadets and stuff. So he's, he's done that shit before. He's, he's told people when they have passed or failed their driving tests before, um, <laughs> but in a military setting. So that's not really great for an anxious overthinker. That's not a great environment for me, but you know, it's a thing. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave this part open because I, I do need to get the villagers up here. Um, So we'll do shitty staircase next to my ladder, which I, I want to give railings to. Uh, we'll, we'll do these like all the way to the to the ceiling at some point. And we construct. Oh wait, I just need to do these bits. Um, because this is gonna be important. And I'll probably also have this as my entry point because we need a trapdoor here. Actually, that might not work. Okay. We'll have my entry point be here. We'll have a ladder that goes down that they can't use. Um, but let me go and grab my glass. Let me just go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ash. We'll be making those vibrations in a minute. Largely a construct. See your money. This 
won't be a problem for the villagers, will it? This will be fine for them, right? I don't know if I trust it. Um, my axe does not have silt touch. This one does. Okay. Wait, does my axe not have silt touch? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, we'll do slabs in here. Just to make sure that this works. Never a piss mother maid. Virgin. Herman. Live to tend him. So did he do the lifts a finger. Baby machine. So he can live out his picky fence dream. Uh, oh, I need this. Much labor. And that. And then we'll do this with torches which will probably give enough light to this entire space but i will add more just in case i have not made a hoe yet so i cannot um do the rest of this room um i should really just move my shocker boxes closer but this is fine um okay there's my seeds Table. In space. Uh, I have a second composter, but that was just because I took it from my house. I'll keep these on me. Um, I'll come back for all of this other shit in a minute because I am going to need a good handful of it. I don't, I don't need the glass anymore. The ceiling is on. Thing. Bob was my savior. All our labor. And some Shash King. If our love ends, would that be a bad thing? Pain birds may make me do too much labor. Uh, hang your dog for the last three weeks. You've been listening to your stream players. Oh, cute! I love that. It's it's very very fun. I enjoy my stream playlist a lot. It's just like a very wide range of music that I listen to because I. I, I'm not a pop person. There's a couple pop songs that I like. I like punk pop if I have to listen to any pop. That's basically what um, Waterparks is, is punk, punk pop. And a couple of like Panic at Disco stuff. Um, but I've got like a very wide range of music tastes. I'd say that my preferred is rock. Um, I I just like any kind of variant of, of rock and it's it's very, very good for my little brain. But like alternative stuff, just yeah. I like to think that my playlist is a very well-rounded playlist in terms of like variety uh and it makes me happy that you can enjoy it when i'm not even live like that's really cute uh luckily they have uh wheat fields here so i can get a couple more seeds because oh boy i underestimated how many seeds i would need i have so many seeds in my house and i was like eh, this should be enough uh, hello how cool lamp hello Welcome. We are building a villager breeder and then we're going to do an iron farm, but I need to get the, the villagers sorted first. So this is job one and then we'll go to job two. And I forgot to do that hydrate that has been like ages away. Ow! Just hit my fucking monster can against my teeth. It's okay. It tastes good. It me! It me, I'm a fae. I'm a fae. I stole someone's name today, guys. <laughs> That's not actually a joke. Uh, I was talk I was talking to Mars and he he gave me like a, a, a he told me someone's name that he knew. And my brain just instantly went, oh, that name is so pretty, I'm stealing it. It's mine now. So I, I did do the very typical fae thing of, of stealing a person's name. Um, and I'm very happy with myself about it. Would that be a bad thing? So this needs to be specifically here? Because then if I put it down... Okay, wait, it can't be that way around because they can pass through that. Um, Because then if I put it down, they can't pass through it. There we go. There we go. Now this drink is in the wrong glass. Should not be served with ice. Will not tip the barkeep when he brings my tap tonight. 
Tell me what so. Tell me what so. Every has their reasons. And I'll have a ladder into here. That will just be like a one ladder here so I can jump up and the villagers won't be able to use it, I don't think. Um, maybe I should expand this room like why, why one more, but eh, I'll leave it, it's fine. If I go here in the day, it won't be an issue because they'll come out to the fields that I can't even fucking get into. Um, I haven't put the glass ceiling on. I thought I did that. No, I put it in here and then I took it down. There has been more, there has been more than three people in the chat. I think just everybody forgot about the, about the third redemption. I think the first and second got got, and then everybody else forgot there was another tier to that. That's very funny. Everybody takes their classes, everybody has their vices. Declamation happens. Chris, listen to anything, but you have had one artist on loop. What artist? I am curious. I, for the past two years, I have been in the, like, top percentage. I did, that wasn't enough glass. I guess I did break a couple pieces, but that shouldn't have been enough fucking glass! Ah, I'm gonna have to go home. I'm gonna have to go home. I don't want to go home. I need to sleep. This is mean. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is fucking homophobic. <laughs> this is fucking homophobic Minecraft. I can't believe you. Oh god, that's, that's more homophobic. Let's run away. Fine, we'll fly home. We'll fly home and I'll break the rest of the glass from the old farm. God damn it. Oh, that was a lag spike. Hello. Think about second or first redeem. Yeah, that's fair. Happens to the best. Amelie. Oh, I love Amelie. I love Amelie. That's actually that's actually funny because I was watching I I, I was watching a Sayu clip, um, who is like Amelie's friend um today he he voices one of my favorite characters in lego monkey kid he voices he voices macaque um we did a, a lego Mon a lego monkey kid watch party um not um this week ugh, this weekend but the weekend before uh, we watched the the um the special we watched the special the the pilot special which was very very good um and i'm very happy about it but yeah, Alejandro Saab, Sayu, he voices um, a character in that show called Macaque, but only from season four onwards because the previous voice actor passed away. Uh... But yeah, love those guys. I like watching their, their Lethal Company um, videos uh, where they where they get the, the Star Rail voice actors together to, to do stuff. I think they're really funny. I think they're very, very funny. Think that I get older, older. There we go. Uh, up, up here. This is the old farm where disaster once struck. Um, let me get up here the hard way because I uh broke the crafting table that would let me in the easy way. First name. First name. Talk about journey to the west after the movie like you hosted. <gasps> Oh my god, yay! I love Jenny to the West. I love it. I love it. I'm really sad um, because there, there's a game that has, I think it might have just released or it's about to just release. I, I could not tell you. Uh, it's why I was watching an Alejandro uh, Saab clip today or Sayu clip, I guess. Um, but there's a new game called um, Black Myth Wukong, which is a, like a Souls like. Um, Dark Souls like game that is where you play as Sun Wukong in the Journey to the West, and I don't think it's like one hundred percent accurate. Um, but the they have like animated scenes for it, and they are fucking beautiful. But I'm also really sad because the studio who made Kit are really uh, sexist and like problematic, and a lot of people are boycotting the game because of that. Um, I know Sayu is playing the game, um, and he has been taking an interest in Journey to the West. He did a tweet where he was like, I've been watching um, a little sarcastic production videos because he, now now he's playing a Journey to the West game and he's voicing a character in a Journey to West media. And I think that's really fun that he's taking an interest in it. Um, 
But yeah, I'm really sad because the animated like the animated cutscenes for the game, I think that they're, they're either promotional animations or they are cutscenes. I I could not tell you. I cuz I, I all I know about the, about the game is that it is made by bad people. Um but the animations were beautiful <laughs> and they were so like poignant and and emotional for what I don't I don't think they have dialogue but then again I was listening to them all muted so they could have dialogue and I'm just unaware completely um but yeah I'm really sad about it uh I want I want more Journey to the West content because Lego Monkey Kid is great it's not faithful to the source material and it doesn't need to be I think just exploring the world in a new unique and interesting way is what you kind of need when you're dealing with a mythology um or like Journey to the West technically deals with a living religion um but it's also a mythology uh it kind of skirts it skirts the line between it because a big part of it is buddhism which is a real life religion and a still practiced religion because uh, all mythologies were a religion at one point in time um and a lot of them have just kind of died out and now they're mythologies um but like chinese mythology kind of ties in with um buddhism in in several aspects so it's it's very much like you gotta tread gently not something you should really do a lot of stuff with if you're not um like a part of that culture uh, <laughs> this is really funny you finished the edit yeah round of applause for chris chilzo he's so wonderful yippee yippee that actually reminded me um with the with the idea of minecraft role plays and handling subject topics badly um surprisingly not talking about the gym here um i really got into a minecraft role play called origins of olympus and it was percy jackson inspired um first season they were all like children of greek gods either they knew who they were the child of or they were trying to figure that out and it was kind of light role play in the first season because they were like that was their first time like moving out of light role play so it still had some elements but it was it was it was good it was fun little messy but it was a big group of people it was the origins rp group who are no longer a thing um and then they did season two and they decided let's have more mythologies and like Greek, Egyptian, and Norse are all mythologies. They're all dead. But then they also had like Asian mythos, which included Chinese and Japanese and like all all of those ones. Um, and they did have a character who was just I don't know. I never watched his perspective. Um, but he 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 was just the Buddha. I think he did it because he wanted to do he wanted to play like a very like Ang Last Airbender kind of character, but also you should not RP as a religious figure in any context. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, it was it was it was a, I never I never watched the I don't think he even like had a perspective I, if he didn't then maybe that's a little bit better but it was like I remember seeing that in someone else's perspective I was watching for the RP and I was like what the fuck are you doing that's just not okay um but yeah minor minor meltdown about that because what the hell happened but yeah there's a lot of things to think about when writing um funnily enough think they should give up but yeah i'm i'm a big i wouldn't say i'm a mythology buff i don't have like an expert knowledge or i guess nobody has an expert knowledge on everything but i don't have an expert knowledge on mythology or um uh, a lot of things i don't have an expert knowledge on a lot of things uh also we're gonna we're gonna do tunnels <laughs> to get these guys over to where they need to be um so don't mind me as i as i talk and do this um and we're gonna make this free tool because i need it to not be attacked by monsters uh ba -ba -da -ba. i focus too much on placing these blocks i know i was talking about mythology um i want to learn more about mythology i wish there had been like a mythology um course or something that was available to me in schools we didn't like 
I don't know what classes you would ca ca like focus on morphology in. I guess literature classes because I mean Chinese um, myth is like very heavily codified and like there's four kind of important scriptures. But in China, the scholars were very highly revered, so a lot of their like fiction from back in the day, I guess to put it, was usually to to send like some kind of message for the time period so they they are a lot more like informative than some um like myths like um that sort of stuff the classics but it's also mainly greek stuff i think yeah that's the problem like there's also like the the prose edda and the poetic edda but those are like post-christianization sources um and i think they're more so collections of poems and then uh chinese myth the problem with it is that they're so they're so very long they're so very long and not very easy to go through that i don't think unless you were doing a dedicated like course to them i don't think they would be on the books um in like a in like a normal class setting um i could be completely wrong what we mainly did in my english classes um was shakespeare and like mice and men um I was going to list other things. I know we did poems at one point, um, but I also just do not remember any of those poems. I remember really liking one of them. Um, all I remember is that the author was from South Africa um, and she did a poem that was all about how when she moved to the States, people had all these assumptions about her um because of where she was from and how like damaging that kind of is as like a concept um oh yeah there is a guy in here oh and i have just released him into the wild okay let's not release him into the wild uh let's instead build these up and i need to sleep soon because i still have not lit up this village which you think would be something that i would do pretty urgently um but apparently, you you would be incorrect in that assessment. Hi, sir. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, I'm going to go into your future home and have a nap. There we go. I hit my mic, turned it off, and screamed. <laughs> I I'm not quite used to it being on this side of uh, my setup yet. Um, because I moved it when I last cleaned up. Uh, so if you heard a loud noise just then, I apologize. Please listen. Me rereading chat. Thing I have close expert knowledge on Zero Blade. That's very, that's very based. That's very, very based. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to just learn more about mythology because a lot of my knowledge comes from stuff that I have either personally researched, which doesn't happen a lot, um, or, um, uh, yeah, we're going to start getting these guys over here. I want to try and get them into the back rooms. Um, because then that will be, that'll be easier to, to handle. So let's start with this man. Do you have a job block in here? You do. Okay, let's get rid of these. Thank you so much for the hydrate. I was already moving, look at that. Your, your brother hitting, ah. I see. Oh, where, where have you gone, sir? Hey, keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Yes! 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 Oh, I love you, sir! Can you go- can you go in? Does- does that work? Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Wait, no, you should be able to walk through there. Why can't you? Why can't you get in? Huh. I'm not crazy, right? You should be able to get in there. Am I wrong? Am, am I wrong? No, that's how I have it in the picture. Okay. 
Well, thank you for, for doing your due diligence. His forehead too big. Um, maybe if I do it this way, because it seems to be this way on, on the thing. Um, hmm. I'll, I'll hope that that works. Let's, let's close him off for now. He should just stay in there. Um, let's get, let's get his friend. Hi, sir. Job lock in here? Yay! Mine now. Go. Go. Out. 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 Why are you going that way? There's nothing over there. No. No. And then nothing there. Nope, can't get in there. No. There we go. The choose between lowly and you. Nope, no going back. You gotta go up. You gotta go up. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. No, up, sir. So that's not very nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Up you go. Come on. Oh, wait. Is it because the trapdoor? There you go. Oh, no. No, please. Please. Uh. Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah, in. In you go. In you go. Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do in here. I'm gonna put a composter here. <laughs> and then this last guy should come in, no problem. Okay. Here we go. My new record love. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in some cars extended warranty? There we go. You're gonna be a nice guy. No. Let's that. No. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Sir, can you not? Are you fucking kidding me? I need an axe for this. No. Over here. Nope. Over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Inside. Oh my god, do you just want to be a smith? Hey guys, do you want to know something fun, guys? Do you want to know something fun? Do you want to know something really, really fun? Because I think this is a really fun fact. Do you want to know what it is? I only need two of you. That'd be so much cooler if I didn't miss the first five fucking hits. Bitch. <laughs> I only I only need two of them. And I have two of them. I I spared you as as a courtesy, my friend. You don't want to live, you don't have to. Uh, villagers, am I alright, gamers? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Up and take the stage. This outrage is all the rage. I need to dump some of this shit. Um, ba, 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 ba. I don't even need to pose anymore. Thanks, I hate it. Satisfied, now I wanna run and hide. You look me in the eyes and say, thanks, I hate it. Here we go. Let's 
get through all of this. Uh, and then the villager breed is done. We just need to check what's going on with that trapdoor because I don't know why it's not working. Um, I, I guess if I really wanted to, I could hook up a piston, but I don't really want to hook up a piston. Thanks, I hate it. Go down here. Uh, boop. The flavor. And then we have this. Oh, you're fucking there. Okay, I thought you'd run away. Where's my trapdoor gone? I must have been in chest aside. Um, oh yeah, you're not both guys because you each need a drop one drop block each. That's why I had this initially. Okay. Hey. Oh, that's from block. Come get your juice. Come. Come come get come get your juice. Sir! Is it not working hours now? Do you not want do you not want do you not want it? Do you not want it? Come on. I got it set up for you. I got you a treat. I got you a treat. I got you a treat. Fucking hate these guys. Fucking hate these guys. All right. Um, uh, fuck them. Um, the morning I'm on the dance floor. Got my back. I need a house to rack. Want to be with the bourgeoisies as I've got to be with the bourgeoisies as funny all night once. Yeah, it worked. Okay. So theoretically, they should be able to get in here. And they should be able to go to sleep. We'll have to see if that actually works. Um, till then, have some bread. Share. Make a baby. Um, oh, it's actually getting night time, so we can see if they actually are going to get in to their bed. Um, in a minute. And then they're farmers, so they'll be able to produce their own food and just do all of that shit. Uh, and they won't die. And and everything will be will be fine. Nothing nothing terrible will befall these fellas. Um, I don't remember what our last villagers were called. I know two, we had two of them and they had names, but I don't know what these guys are called. So I'm not gonna bother naming them. Just you know, in case they become casualties. Um, and whilst it's getting dark, <laughs> let's just get a couple torches. Um, in whatever space we can place them. Because this way I can see where they need to go. And uh, hopefully we won't have as big of a, of a mob problem. I do have more torches uh, that I can go pull out of my ass. Um, oh hey, speaking of Panic Disco. She paints her fingers with a close precision. Passes all this empty bottles of gin. And takes a moment to assess the sin she's paid for. Only speaker in a conversation As a ringing through his ears again There's nothing wrong with just a taste of what you paid for Say what you mean, tell me I'm right And let the sun play down on me Give me a sign, I wanna believe Oh, Mona Lisa, I pay to see you, friend. There you go. This is something called a desperation. The dollar another day. If we had the proper words to say. Oh, there's turtles here! Do you have nothing left to sell him? 
Say what you mean, tell me I'm right And let the sun pay down on me Give me a sign, I wanna believe Oh, Mona Lisa, you're guaranteed to rock this town Mona Lisa, I pay to see you frown Thank you for the daily draw, Dahlia. Hello, hello. We're just lining up the thing. Don't mind my voice breaking as I try to sing this Panic at Disco song. <laughs> Lisa, yeah. Lisa, he Oh my fucking god. I, I literally did not light up this area and there are so many mobs over here. Die. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna hit that witch, but I got something else instead. Uh, skeleton. A little bit too high there. Another skeleton. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll get the rest of this area um, afterwards. Ah! The thing is, we are going to have to leave part of it. Whew. There we go. We are going to have to leave. Oh, wait. Trident guy. Eh. You came on shore? Trident, Trident, Trident. Fuck no. We do have looting free on this and everything. Oh, I wanted the trident. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. There we go. That's such a Katie Go Burr thing for, of me to say. I don't know why that, that, is what, that is what came to my head, but I feel like the way that I said that was just very Katie Go Burr core. Uh <laughs> Did anyone hear that blurp sound effect? Because I, I, I did not hear it, but I might have just been focusing. Or maybe it's only sounding for you guys and I broke it. That could also be a, 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 an explanation. Okay, and then we meet up with this over here. And invest in me. And mob should still spawn on this part, so, and also up there, so when it's morning, I can start work on the actual iron farm, which is what we were meant to be doing instead of um, spending however long we've been spending to getting getting this fucking villager shit sorted. Uh, okay, what, what I need right now is a chest to put all of this shit in. Um, there's only a couple of chests around the village that I could use, but I'm just going to make it a new one um, because I don't particularly want to keep a lot of this shit um boys like you try too hard that is desperate okay these all go in here make you high so and when it all goes to hell be able to tell i'm gonna have to go home at some point to grab more torches I realize now I did not really anticipate how many I need to put around here. I mean, I did also put a bunch in the area that we're going to be putting the farm. Um, so it might be fine, but I actually got to sort out the farm bit um, first. So, um... Goes to hell, will you be able to tell? Did I use my own bed in that? Or did I place my white bed down somewhere else and forget about it? Both are very likely options. I'm just going to use the bed in... There's not one in this house, is there? No, I'm just going to use the bed in this house. No, I'm not. I am just going to use the bed in... Actually, I want to check on if they're using their beds. Um, It's very low. Okay, wait. Um... Blurp is not supposed to be that low. It was not at 100%, but it was up. Okay, these these guys can't do anything if they can't get to their bedroom. Um, So I'll open this. But it's weird that they can't get to their bedroom. 
Because they should be able to. Hmm. Well, they can get to their bedroom now. Can they not get into their beds? Are they too close together? Is that the problem? Are they too close together? Okay, they were too close together for them to get into their beds. Um, if I put this back, will they be able to get out of their beds again? Uh, no, we'll see. They only need two beds in order to make babies, but if I get more villagers, I'm gonna have to expand this out by one, aren't I? God fucking damn it. Okay. We'll do that then. Tips can torture. The old hands dream a little dream of me. You're all scotch, no soda. Take my body left into the ground. Sleep around. Sheep below. Here's to who you know. Oh, that broke. Sad boy, you smell like gin and failure. Sing a sad song. You a sad man. Told me to keep my chin up. Told me to smile more, so I took his tea. You're all scotch, no soda. They're just being weird. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I'll put it down to the beds just not being set correctly so they had no reason to want to go into that room and then the other villager had no reason to want to go into the farm area um because uh because there was no farm um block for him beforehand because i forgot that every villager needs its own unique job block in order to to function um but now now it does so maybe they will be in there in the farm now but i can hear them very closely so they might not be um underhanded slightly damaged hey i'm lonely took advantage okay let's get this i think i have some acacia slabs in my thing um Let's do this. No, they cannot get through. Okay. My only um way of fixing that is gonna be um a, a trap. Uh, not a trap door. Um that my only way of fixing that realistically is is gonna be uh I think a fence gate. Because I can't use a door because they can open doors. Um, but this will fix the bed issue. Um, so let me... Actually, I'll also fix their flooring for my own peace of mind. And we will move their torches to the middle of the room. For symmetry. Um, but, uh, their beds will not get that courtesy. Their beds will do like this. Actually, we'll do their beds like this because I think then they'll be able to get into them easier. Um, what? Uh, kind of but notice the villager breeder is very flammable, therefore not very lightning proof. I'll get a lightning rod. I'll get a lightning rod and and I'll stick it on there, but a couple blocks higher. Um, glass is not flammable, and if I put stone on top of it, um, then then this won't be flammable either. And then lightning will not hit anywhere else but the lightning rod. That will be um, our workaround for 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 my stupid decisions. Um, <laughs> that that'll work. That'll do, pig. Okay. Um, that's this is too many slabs now. It's too many slabs. This is not. That's enough slices. Oh, Where are my fucking torches go? There they are. Okay. Uh, I'm doing great. Nothing is wrong. Get better. Prove. Huh? 
The insecurities futile. I hear my voice and I cringe. I need somebody's approval now, cause I. You win. Okay. And then what we're gonna do here. Um, is just, I don't want to just go this way. I'm going to put this here and then I will get a fence gate. Uh, do I have any of those? I mean, I do, but I mean any, um, Keisha ones. I can get one. There we go. Approval now, cause I, you win. I put this here, then that will allow them in and out, and that should not cause any problems. Yay! Actually, what I'll do is I'll put this down there, um, because that probably works nicer. And then, uh, because this roof, uh actually isn't spawn proof um well a lot of it is because slabs and glass but i'll also just add some extra torches up here for safety and then we'll have a little pillar up here of of stone walls and a lightning rod on top so the place doesn't burn down um and that that's done okay we're, we're good uh i do need another one of a fence gate uh is there another fence gate i can steal Please, 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 please. No? Okay. Is there another pen I can pillage? <laughs> pretty please, pretty please. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just take the lightning rod that's at my house. I mean, I definitely can make another one. Um. Also, there is no acacia trapdoor anywhere else in this place, so I'm going to have to make one myself. <clears throat> okay. Just another, just another ho ho. No, just another ho ho, haha. <laughs> Devotee. From the valley sands and the black heart smells of deep in your name, I wouldn't change it. Whoa. And then we have down here, which I will put a bunch of minecarts and stuff in. I should probably also. Uh, uh I have a crumb table on me. So I don't need to just keep going back to that one. A couple of those. Three of these, just for safety's sake. Um, and two more torches. Overabundance of torches because I am paranoid. Um, but I'll be able to get uh these guys out. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make another chest so I can keep rails and shit in here. Um, for when I when I need to cart these guys away. Um, the fun thing is. We're building this for the iron farm. I'm gonna have to build a third one of these on the mushroom island when I decide to start doing like proper villager trades uh, again and all of that shit. So this won't be the last time we see of a villager of a villager um farm. Oh right, I need to fill this in. There we go. Almost forgot about that. I don't think anything bad would have happened if I forgot about it because no, nothing can get up, can get up there. Yes, that's the sentence. Um. That's good. That's fine. That's done. Okay. And and they can get in their bedroom. Right? Well, they got out of their bedroom. I'll check again at night. I'll check again at night. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Um, okay. I'm going to tear this down because it's annoying me that it's floating. And then we can do the iron farm. Yeah. It's only taken us an hour and a half to get to the main fucking point! Yay! I still have a bed on me. Uh, I need to put this in there. Uh, okay. Uh, I need more torches, but we'll sort that out fucking later. Uh, uh. Just, just casually starts crying. Okay. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Bed. That's it. 
because I want to get four villagers in here, and then once I have four villagers in here, we can actually start um, doing other stuff. Oh god, are you guys fucking- Oh, it's working! What lets you in here? That's good. Um, please don't fuck yet. Do that on your own time. Um, anyway. Okay, that's good. That's fun. That's fine. Let me grab my boxes and let's move them over to where I need them. Um, and let me also steal another person's bed. Here's here and down. There we go. Okay. Mine now. Uh, okay. So, I know this area needs to be kind of big. I do not know exactly how big. I should have counted back at my house. I know the first step that the video tutorial I have pulled up is um, perfect plot, dig out a 9 by 9 by 2 area. Wait, show me what that looks like. That's a weird starting spot. Huh? Oh, right. Okay. Nope, I remember now. Um, it's bedtime. I forgot you have to have the water thing, which is why I have so many water buckets um, in my inventory. Let's try and size gauge this because I do have dirt, but I don't really want to hit the edge of the water. So I'd say like here is a good middle point. We'll go back a bit for the sake of the farm. I I'd say like here is a good middle point. Um, so we'll say that's here and it's a two by nine. Uh, so this is the middle. And then, so this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. No, it does not go out this far. Uh, it goes out four blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. There is this. Um, and then we need to dig out these little areas. Because this is where the water goes. This is where the water flows. This is how we get the tasty, tasty iron. We're gonna go nom 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 nom. <laughs> I have so much iron, I probably don't even need another iron farm, but we're getting another iron farm because because of the hypocrisy. Because of my greed and my hubris. Um, I've already destroyed one of these bitches. I will destroy another. Um, I will do it. Don't tempt me. Say it out. Okay, and then I need an exit real quick. Um, because I did not place these down. About the things you think I know. I need all of these. Because we place one in each corner. And then that pushes into the center. Um, which we then fill in with trapdoors. Which is not trap yes, trapdoors. I thought I was misspeaking, but no, I am I am in fact correct. I am always correct. That is yes. One of these like this, and then have all of those be open. Like this. In hand him just misses and maybe just a dead shelf and how to hide. And then we have to go oh, sorry, repeat that video. Repeat that video, please. Okay, dig a 3x3 three three 30 block deep hole. Okay, video. Let me um think about that for a minute. 
Um, because that is a lot bigger of an ask than you really think it might be. Um, okay, let's use my picky eater. Um, torches aren't going to be that necessary. What is going to be necessary are these, because we need to be able to get in and out, and I am using a bubble elevator. Um, and I am also going to need two bottles of water in order to do this. For the virgin, yes. I only got one. Why did I only get one? Strictly business. As he said to the missus. What is... I heard that. Okay. Thank you. Me when I forget that my hydrate thing... No, kitty! Kitty, no! <laughs> oh, you're gonna die in there, friend. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Um, but I know how this is gonna work. It's gonna go down into this space. And then I'm gonna have to build something that takes me out. So I'm probably gonna want it to go this way. And we'll say... No, we're gonna go home. <laughs> We're gonna go home because I don't want to skip forward in the video because the best way to to use I'm not wearing my lecture the best way to do anything is obviously to uh not read ahead um obviously obviously uh we're gonna go home and we're gonna see how my old iron farm was and the spacing around that and we might even steal the fence fences from it so that I can reuse them for this one and have to make a shit ton more fences because I am out of wood and I don't feel like chopping more. I have too many fucking waypoints on this world, I swear to fucking god. I need to disable some of them because I do not need all of these active. I just have them as checkpoints most of the time. Uh, reading head is boring! For real! For real! I That's part of the reason why I'm so bad at reading in general is because I don't read ahead and then I get confused on a sentence but it does make sense, I just haven't read ahead yet. Uh, anyway. Uh, we're gonna check how big the space around the hole in the middle is meant to be at my old farm. Um, and then I can gauge how far away the entrance to the underground part of the iron farm needs to be. Um, and then we can also steal the fences from it because I just need to be able to set up the bubble elevator um, down into the depths because that's going to be uh, kind of important for us to get in and out. And I'm not doing a massive ladder again because that was scary. Bubble elevators are so good and I don't actually have a lot of supplies for making them. So, I mean, I, I, I maybe I'll take the supplies from this one um, at some point. Okay. Here's our space. Um... And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Put that in my game chat. So thirteen blocks out of here is is how that works. Um and I will take this. We'll grab the lightning rod while we're here and see if I have any stone walls in the house that I can also take with us to put on top of the thing. Um, we also might sleep because I don't want it to actually be a thunderstorm right now. Um, and then we will also, uh, we will also, I'll make some carpets so we can get in and out of the thing easier. Um, this small day. I could always take it in the beds from this, but I'll take them at a later date. Oh, this doesn't even give me enough fences because it uses less fences because of the wall. I see. Hmm. I have screwed myself over once again. I might have more spruce fences in the house. I kind of doubt it. Um, I don't have any more spruce wood. I know that for a fact. Um, don't mind the zombie making noise. It's just underground. I just realized I don't have the fucking narrator thing in the bottom corner. Um, wait. This on me. Your money. That's not the right thing. Finding stuff in the... Where do you... Uh, wait, no, it's accessibility settings, isn't it? Wait, no. Wait. Subtitles, there we go. Completely. I like having those on when I'm playing hardcore, even though I don't look at them very often. 
It's mainly for that extra thing of if I hear something, then I can double check what I heard. If there's enough villagers here to still spawn cats. I have, I have three villagers and these are the only surviving ones. All the other ones are dead. But three villagers is all you actually need for a village. Oh wait, no, that's fine. Oh wait. There's at least two in there. But there is also a zombie. Who's wearing a fucking... I don't know what hat you're wearing, bruh, but it's something. One of the villagers died down there, though. He got into the boat. I'm going to fill the boat up with chickens. Do I have chicken eggs? Do, do I have chicken eggs? I probably have some in here. I do. That probably won't be enough. But if I fill the zombie boats in the new place up with chicken eggs, um, then... I won't have to worry. Or just an, any other mob, really. Okay, let's get some some carpets. This is going to be more carpets than I actually need, but, you know, the more the merrier. Um, we got a lot of these. No fucking... S oh, we have a little bit extra spruce. Okay. This isn't going to be enough. Um, so I will chop a tree. I guess I have to chop a tree. I need it to make my torches anyway. Um. I can't sleep. It's not, it's not bad enough to sleep. Okay, let's, let me grab the, the thing before I forget to grab the thing. Um. Whoop. Kind of a waste of rocket. I can climb on my roof pretty easily. There we go. Uh, okay, and now... Cup a tree! Hello, Gunny! Hi. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day! Welcome to the stream! Uh, the cat was in trouble, hopefully the... And now we go to bed! I fucking, I fucking thought as soon as I grabbed the lightning rod there was gonna be thunder, and you know what? It was a little bit delayed, but I was correct in my assessment. I was correct in my assessment, and that did scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Cause we're not the same. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's sort all of this shit out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, tree. We're just gonna cut down a small tree because I don't need that much stuff. Um. I just wanna be a skeleton. When this album came out, I was so obsessed with it. I love Set It Off. That's so good. Rains that drag me down. Had it good. That's what I get. This my turn now. I heard Tangle twisted. Find me again. And don't break me into pieces. You're all that I am. Skin and bones full and bone Wrap my ribs and make me fall Into my heart Ugh, That was a bad note. That was a bad note, Jay. You did bad, Jay! <sighs> Sorry. Me just berating myself casually on stream. Uh, oh yeah, torches. Right. That's something I need to do. To my lungs, I just wanna be your skeleton Oh wow, look! I made the perfect amount! I don't need to make that many torches. I just want like a stack. I just want a stack. I'll take the rest of the stuff to make them with me though. Okay, back we we're back we head. Oh wait, I'll I'll, I'll grab these. Wait. Uh um 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 nom nom nom. Nom There we go. I don't even think my mic picked up that noise I was making. <laughs> I made like a like the the puff of fish carrot eating noise. Um uh. Feel like a pessimist when I just wanna lie through it all To lie through it all Full root bones, crack my ribs and make me whole I still haven't finished my monster You heard me make the noise? Okay It was too, it was too, um It wasn't a noise enough for my PNG tuber to really clock it But it was a noise enough for you guys to hear it, so that's what matters that is what matters at the end of the day. I am wasting so many rockets just on this trip to and from this place. I feel like this isn't making me go very fast. Let me go. How's my light looking? It's looking fine. 
I do not have a skeleton spawner over this way. I do know where one is by where my new house is going to be, but not where the farm is. Um, but I could probably make one. If there's a mine shaft nearby, I could find a spider spawner because I could also use a spider farm just for like potions and string because string is kind of a hot commodity in this world. And by that, I mean, I have none. Let's actually check um, how the how the bamboo farm and this has been has been clocking off. Hey, look at that! Not a lot of sugarcane, but that's kind of what you get with with these farms. Um, so much bamboo, though. I might actually have to put less bamboo in into this farm because sugarcane is the thing that I want the most of, and bamboo just kind of grows like crazy. Um, so we might like. I don't want to take the bamboo out completely. Ugh, you scared me. I don't want to take the bamboo out completely, so what I might do is just like like maybe take like five from each end of either side. We won't do that right now. Um if if I decide we need something to do at the end of this, that's what we'll do. Um bamboo is great. Bamboo is great for scaffolding, so it's not something that I don't need. It's just without a spider farm and string, I can't really make a lot of scaffolding. Um and using dirt blocks is just as good, to be honest. Um, I instantly forgot what number I went to go get from that other place, but it's okay because I wrote it down. It's 13. Heaven or waits, did you think it was supposed to look like the poster? It mostly does. Oh, if you'd only read closer. Ten short years to a new frontier. Soon as if you cruise and you wake up here. And that ship for an awful long time. Forgot what you said, though. Honestly. I didn't make any walls. Uh... Okay, I have some stuff over here. Um, in autonomy, the conglomerates got you on lock and key. Dollar back into endometry. If you're upset, you can rent an apology. Family forged in bureaucracy. No I in team, but there's con in economy. Betting adventure. Were you hoping for fun? Well, my friend, you're indentured in pleasures exempt from your tenure, so venture back down to your slum. Generous prices, your work is determined by your sacrifices. Down on the surface, interments a freebie that comes with the service. There we go, now they're safe. Ah. You're safe now, you're welcome, fuckers. Okay, off the roof. So you earned it. There's my food. I got very concerned then because I couldn't find it. To give, to sell the right to live. I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to come down that way anyway, so I might be able to save this cat. Um, it will be stuck underground for the rest of its life, but that, I think that's better than nothing. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, uh... Oh, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's that's like one block away. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Fuck yes. I am a god. Um, I want it to be further away from this, actually, but having it be, like, right in front of it is kind of perfect, because I can just connect these up to each other. Um, and then that will be great. I may have realized a flaw, um, because that is also probably going to count as a village because it is producing villagers. So it's, they we might have some guys spawning outside of the area. Um, we'll just have to deal with that if it happens. Worst comes to worst, once I have enough villagers down here, I just need two in here that I can take away. Um and and I it'll, it'll be fine, okay? An oversight on my part and not one that I am willing to correct right now. Um so we'll deal with the consequences of my actions. Um but this goes over to here. We'll do 13 in each direction. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And now we will do our best to connect these areas up and I'll fill in any any blanks with with dirt in a moment. I'm gonna have to place some more torches because this is out of the area where I torched. Um, there we go. See a church but I'm raging on a Sunday. Bet it someday. Why do I only have 10 torches? Oh no, I have more than 10 torches on me. Okay, let's get this sorted out. I think what I'll do is I'll make it all dirt on the inside of here and then I will um, do the thing where you like um, till the soil, make it a path block so that nothing else is gonna get into it. That seems like a good idea. Oh my god, Beanie! Hello everyone! Hello, hello! My name is Jay, a local ace streamer. Welcome to the hardcore world! Yippee! Oh, we had a lovely, lovely stream, Beanie. What are you up to? What were you doing? If you guys, if you guys haven't already, consider consider joining my Discord if you like uh, my stream today. But first, tell me about Beanie's stream. I want to know everything. I want to know what you were up to. I want to know what you're up to, my lovely. Hello! We are building an iron farm. We spent most of the stream setting up the villager breeder, which might break the iron farm now that I think about it. But you know what? We're not going to think about it. Yippee! <laughs> oh, I'm not good at this game, um, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you're playing some being cool world. Cute, 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 cute. With the woodland mansion rating. Ooh, I haven't found a, a woodland mansion in this world yet. Um. I am I'm currently setting up my new farm area because I'm going to be moving my house to this lovely mushroom island down here and then this big one here I'm going to turn into like a cool villager area and so this is my farm area we've got a, a bamboo farm and a creeper farm now in villager breeder and we're turning this village into my new iron farm because my last iron farm broke itself. The villagers were stupid and they got themselves killed by the zombies who were supposed to be keeping them perpetually um, afraid of everything. Um, much like I am on a daily basis. So <laughs> uh, that is that is the vibe uh, at our function today. I do hope you, you guys stick around and enjoy because um, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a lovely time and we're just going to sort out the confines of this area first and then we're going to put everything together uh i don't know oh, i'm gonna have to destroy this building aren't i i should be a church but i'm raging on a sunday raging blah, 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 blah. silly billies we are silly billies we've been having fun talking about stuff i'm a little bit distracted right now because i'm building but we talk about shows and stuff and silly little things and whatever really comes to mind, basically. Uh, we have a fun time. We have a chill time. It's great. It's lovely. It's wonderful. Now I'm going to decimate this guy's house, but it's okay. The guy who lived here died of, of natural causes, I'm sure. He probably, he definitely wasn't the villager that I killed earlier. Um, that guy lived over, over there. Uh, and he was a disgraced society, which is why he had to die. <laughs> That's a bad message to leave, Jay. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like this is on the internet and gonna be preserved forever. It's okay. It's not like my actions have consequences. They definitely do. They definitely do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once we once we do this, I think um uh because because we found some turtles on the beach back that way. Next thing on the agenda is probably going to be making a scoop farm because those are I always see I always see people who make farms make scoop farms and get turtle eggs and and the little scoots for turtle master potions and that sort of thing. Ah, I got jump scared by a block. Uh, so because I see everyone else doing it, that means it must be a, a thing that is to do. So I will I will do it. 
I will also do it. I will I will be a basic bitch. Um I mean Telemaster potions are pretty good. They never really appeal to me because they do give like a drawback, but the drawback also kind of is useful, I guess. At the very least, if I want to like do achievement hunting, it's something that I'm gonna need. Um, which I think once like Right now we're get it we're we're trying to be good enough for the end game. Also, isn't this isn't this incredibly tragic? Um how how close yet how far we are. It's okay. It's okay because I uh where is my crafting table? There is my crafting table. Okay. It's okay because I can make um some some more of these. Uh and I have sticks over here. At the speed of sound, fancy feet dancing through this town. What's my mind in a wedding gown? That should be more than enough. We'll get you out of my inventory and then we'll get this shit out of my inventory. Most things in between. Jump, come, smoke alarm. I'd love it if they added backpacks to Minecraft. I know we have bundles now, but they're not the same. They're not the same. They they are like a discount backpack. I get I I get backpacks like I feel like they'd be too much of a modded feature. I mean, okay, we have shulker boxes. We have shulker boxes, so I can't really complain. That's basically the purpose that shulker boxes serve. But backpacks in in the mods that i've played of them at least are always super great because you can usually <coughs> you can usually open them from your inventory and and then you just get like a shit ton of space like i spent so long trying to get like the most op backpack when i was playing on the cobblemon server i i i, I worked my little butt off to do that i want to play cobblemon again uh, I want to play Cobblemon again, but m the problem with Cobblemon is I I feel like it's really fun. I'm sure it's really fun to play by yourself, but Pokemon, it's like the whole point of Pokemon is to capture your friends. And I feel like that's a greater experience if you can do with other people. But then again, most of the like Pokemon servers, I actually haven't been on a lot of Pokemon servers, Casual servers like that with like a big mod pack gimmick, a lot of the ones that I've been on don't last for a very long time, even if like everyone playing is like close friends. Um so yeah, it probably wouldn't work out as idyllic as I'd want it to in my mind. But I'd love to play some Cobblemon again. I love Cobblemon. Okay, we're gonna add these because easy way out. Uh, we're just going to fill in all of the potholes that are going on around here. Uh, I'm going to leave most of the wheat fields that like spawned with the village intact, I think. Unless they're like in here because I need to get rid of these ones. Um, but anything that is not like where I'm actively putting a farm, uh, it's just going to be left because I like I like them. I like the aesthetic. I It's easy way for me to get some bread. Um, which I do definitely need for all of these villager shenanigans. Um, I would fill in this entire plot here, but I, I I can't be bothered. I might take this bed though, because I kind of like the red beds more than I like the orange beds. Thank you. Okay. We'll do like some some mild terraforming, just to make this look a little bit more like like a natural base and also because I just kind of want to put some torches down. You're beloved. Okay, there's this bit. Um, Am I the boy you dreamed of? And then we'll also put bits here. Um, I'll leave that hay bale. It's fine. <laughs> to me. Uh, shulker backpacks would make shulkers useless in in one sense. Yeah, I mean, shulkers are like they're they're portable chests, um, so they're very useful to just like be able to pick up a block and move everything in it away. Um, oh sorry, kitty. 
Um, but I, I guess like backpacks would just be like more inventory space. I definitely get what you mean though. You're you're very correct in your assessment. We don't really need um Oh, I just realized I need more wool if I want to do more stuff on that side. Oh my god, good thing there's a sheep down here. Hi friend! <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't even like very funny, but I just found it very funny. Okay, if I can get one more piece, uh, one more, one more. <gasps> friend! Friend! Oh my god, my friend! Oh my god! Oh my god! Friend! I say that and my dog starts screaming. Oh! <laughs> you know, it's okay! I just killed a sheep, it's fine! Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. The fact cats are spawning in here, I feel like should be a good sign. Do we have more villagers in here, actually? I haven't, I haven't looked. I have not looked. Oh god, I don't know if you can hear my dog, but she going woof woof. Ow. Hi, you who big sunflower. No, make some children. My god. Oh, sorry, that was an accident. Go back to bed. Um. <laughs> Go back to bed, sir. I'm sorry, that was an accident. Oh, I need to change all the sand into dirt too. Why have I? Why have I done this? Why have I done this? Go away. Um, I have to make my life harder, don't I? Okay. We'll make sure these are on the correct ground so that I don't have to move them again. Okay, good. Um, this is literally just prep work. We are literally just prepping for the the final of actually putting all this shit together um i should just move my bed and all this stuff out of here because this space is going to need to be clear for everything else that i do um okay and i'm gonna be toxic little fuck eating up inside of me reason to carry on and it's keeping me afloat Actually, I might want to keep that. Um, I don't need money. Fuck. I don't need the wheat. I don't need the gold nuggets. I need the wheat. There we go. This feels right. Whoa. Okay, put you here. Put both of these here. Got plenty of dirt. Um. We'll take a couple more of these. We're gonna need this. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of this tree as well. Actually, I guess for for ease of life sake, I might as well um do all of this. Um and by do all of this I mean till the ground do the thing with the shovel. That's that's what it's called. Path it, yeah. I'm gonna play Pathfinder. I don't actually I've actually never played Pathfinder. I just know it's an old game for old people who are old and smelly. Um I don't know anything about Pathfinder. Um Okay, there's that bit, and now it's the sand, because I built this near a beach. I can't tell if this is like gonna be easier or harder than the first one of these that I made. Because in theory, I've made one before. But also, hey cat, if you can like swim out this direction, you can get out. Okay. Um, but the last one of these I had to build, I had to like make a lot of the ground myself because we did it like right by the ocean because that's just like the space the village provided us with in the old one. Um, that is not the case this time because we are fully inland, thankfully. Um, but we never really know. Pathfinder is a TTRPG, like D&D, &D, but not quite the same. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not an old person game then, but it, it, it feels old because of the context that I've heard about it in, I suppose. I, I don't know a lot about it. 
I I think I've come to the conclusion that I really like D and D in theory, and I'm sure if I was with like a group of people who I was comfortable with, um, and and a like competent DM, I would really enjoy it. Um, but I have never had that experience. I my first experience playing D and D was being a dungeon master, and I was very ambitious in that I decided to make my own custom campaign instead of using a pre-made one. Um, big mistake, big mistake. And then COVID happened and like, we all just kind of stopped playing it, even though like, we, we tried to play it once over Discord and then we all just kind of gave up because uh, no one showed up. Um, and then I played a couple other campaigns with a few people from like college. Um, but the only person in that group who I really knew and liked was Charlie. Um, so, uh, not the best, not the best experience, um, with actually doing campaigns. The most fun I think I had, uh, was playing Curse of Strahd. Um, but we ended up not continuing that campaign and I do not know why. I do not think I actually need to keep the sand because sand is such a valuable asset because I fucking hate collecting sand. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really like playing Curse of Strahd, uh, which is like a, a vampire kind of campaign. And I went into it with just like, a, I want to play as a cute tiefling, tiefling. And she didn't really have any backstory. And then I started beefing with this old lady. Um, she was also a trickster rogue because I wanted magic and to be a rogue. And then I just kind of ended up basing her backstory on Hansel and Gretel and making her like a big fan of fairy tales. But she also has an old cookbook, which like... what. It's like the witch's spell book, which is how she knows her magic as an arcane um, rogue, as an arcane trickster. Um, but it's also a cookbook because the witch dealt in a lot of like, she, she'd cook people and eat them. So <laughs> it's got like actual recipes in it, not just human recipes or like the character's name was Lilith. So she probably would like scribble out where it said human meat and put in like chicken or something. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with that character and that campaign specifically. The main issue with that campaign, um, we had a really good dungeon master. I think what I didn't like was one of our one of the people who we were playing with, um, who like I knew but I wasn't really very close with. Um, wasn't the biggest fan of, if I'm being honest. But yeah, he was fine. Um, he was the kind of person to get bored very easily. Um, so he started off with one character who he then purposely got killed, um, by Strahd, the, the vampire villain of the entire campaign in like our third session. And then he had a new character who was a, like a very charming, like, um, ranger, rogue, kind of Flynn Rider type dude, um, who we kind of picked up on our adventure as his new character. And then the last campaign that we played, we brought some new people into it because they had also been playing the same campaign with the same DM, but a different group. Um, and we just all decided to combine into, into one group. Um, and that guy who had already changed characters was playing a cat, uh, like a, like a, a cat character in that campaign. Um, I think. Or I don't know. Had decided to take the opportunity to just come, come change character a third time. So his old character was then played by the DM and like left the party. Um, not long after everything. Um, and yeah, and then we never played that campaign again. So that was kind of a thing. But I would really like to play more D and D and like play a campaign that I enjoyed but I think I just like stories I think that's what everything really comes down to I like things that I can sink my teeth into and that have a story but that doesn't always mean that I enjoy playing them uh, I think I would enjoy Baldur's Gate because I really like Fire Emblem and Baldur's Gate isn't like a tactical RPG like Fire Emblem but it is turn-based which is like similar enough it has like a similar vibe to the combat um in in a, in a couple of aspects i feel 
So I feel like I could vibe with that and the social aspect of, of it. I need, to I need to stop placing things by accident. Um, but like, I also really like, I've been getting really into Legend of Zelda recently, but I know, I, I enjoy playing Breath of the Wild, um, but I'm also very bad at playing Breath of the Wild because I'll pick it up and if I don't play and finish it in one sitting, I will forget the control scheme and then when I come back to it, I will I will kind of just flail around for a, a while. I think the only Divine Beast that I beat in in it was the um the Zoro Domain one because I knew that one I was basically spoiled for the whole game, which is probably another reason why I struggle to play it, because I find that I, I will fall in love with a game from watching someone else play it, buy it myself, and then never touch it. Um but I uh, went to Zora's Domain because I knew that once I got Mitha's power, I would have like, a, I'd have like a res, I'd have like a heal. Um, and that would be really useful for every other challenge in the game. Um, so that's what I got. I think the whole um, concept of like the, um, what, what is the word? Um, the tools breaking wasn't my cup of tea and the guardians stressed me the fuck out. I actually think I'd probably prefer playing Tears of the, Tears of the Kingdom because it has like scary enemies, um, but it doesn't have like guardian level enemies, which some people could see as a complaint. I see it as a net positive for myself uh, because, because they scare me. But I really like Tears of the Kingdom. I really like just the Breath of the Wild universe. It's I'm not an expert on Zelda lore. I know that it has like a branching timeline. Um, cause Majora, Majora's, I think Majora's mask, no wait, Majora's mask is like after Ocarina of Time. Um, and then, oh wait, I haven't done this side, okay. But then there's like the, the there's like the hero timeline and then the fallen timeline, which is where like a link failed. I know that's the timeline that Wind Waker is in um because because wind waker is like oh the world is flooded because somebody failed to do something um and hyrule doesn't exist in that game but then they make a new hyrule in like spirit tracks i want to say um the two link games are kind of are kind of a little bit like of a weird division um but they're cool but breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom kind of is just like said no to all of that i think in those games the only other game that it references um is skyward sword because you can actually get um skyward sword is like the earliest game in the timeline of zelda because that's where like the the triforce is like split and then that is where like link and zelda their first incarnations are and demise and helia and um hylia i mean um wind waker is in the adult timeline not the fallen timeline oh okay i i haven't watched the video in a long long time i just know the world is flooded and hyrule isn't a thing so i i i assumed but i was incorrect that's fine um jesus um uh but the only game but uh, yeah, Skyward Sword is like the earliest point in the timeline, and it's also where you make the Master Sword. Um, and before it's the Master Sword, it looks a little bit different. And you can get a replica of of what the Master Sword originally looked like in that game, uh, in in Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I don't know about Breath of the Wild, but it's in Tears of the Kingdom. There's also like, um, Twilight Princess armor. So I don't know if that counts as a reference or if that's just like an inspired Easter egg. I I don't I'm not clear about that one. But um again, I'm not an expert on these games. I haven't played them myself. I've just heard other people talk about them and watched like playthroughs. So take what I say with a grain of salt. But um as far as I'm aware, the only one which is directly referenced, like in in lore and not as just a fun little Easter egg and stuff of Breath of the Wild is um, Skyward Sword because um, that is like the earliest, earliest game. But everything else is kind of like, huh, what timeline is this thing in? Because for all intents and purposes, it's kind of made its own timeline. Though I did see a really fun, I, I think I saw a game theory that was like, the Zora and I think the Zora and the Rito shouldn't be, shouldn't exist in the same timeline. 
Um, I think Breath of the Wild. Again, I might be wrong about this. Um, because the Rito are in they're in Wind Waker, and the Zora. I don't know. I don't actually know where the Zora originate from, but they're in other games. Um, but I think the thing was they shouldn't be in the same timeline, and the only other Legend of Zelda game where they were in the same timeline was fucking Hyrule Warriors. Um, so I think the game theory was like, um, like Hyrule Warriors, if you include that in the actual Zelda timeline as like piecing the two different timelines back together, then it can lead into Breath of the Wilds. Um, which I don't know if that works, but they also did make a Hyrule Warriors game in the universe of Breath of the Wild. I, it was kind of an AU thing because it was like set during the Calamity and you get all the champions. Um, so I don't know about like continuity there, but it's interesting and cool. And I'm probably going to watch a Zelda deep dive video um, at some point and be very happy with myself when I do. Oh, so I did all of this and now I'm going to just add some torches to these corners because I think I would like that. Uh, is in out timeline. Reason there are more than one timeline is because Ocarina of Time has a time travel gimmick. Don't get me started on time travel, I will have an aneurysm. Um, uh, you can get the sword in Breath of the World as well, but you need an amiibo. Ah, you can get it without an amiibo, I think. Um, I think there's a quest in Tears of the Kingdom for it. Which is the which is the difference? Tears of the Kingdom. They went. Let's, we're not going to have DLC. It's all just in the base game, um, which is very cool. Reason for that is because after the world in Wind Waker was flooded, the Zora evolved into the Rito. Yes. So the Rito and the Zora should not exist at the same time, um, but they do in Breath of the Wild, which I think is an amazing choice because I think both of the races are so cool and unique, and I love them. Uh Also, fun mythology thing. Uh, well, I finished my monster quickly. So, uh, Greek mythology is where both sirens and harpies come from. But it's sort of... Um, the, the thing about it is that sirens and harpies kind of used to be the same thing. I think they were both winged creatures. And... I, I don't know when sirens became fish creatures, whether it was just like a name that was used to describe like another name that was for harpies and then got amended to a different creature or if um through like mistranslations of Greek text, it was like encapsulized to be like a different thing or if some like white man just took the word siren and made it into like an evil version of a mermaid i don't i don't know but i know they used to both be what like the same thing basically sirens and harpies base were, were practically the same thing initially so i like that backwards connection in breath of the uh, not breath of the world in in the zelda as a whole um where they have a water race evolve into a bird race because that's kind of the opposite that happened in a mythological sense. And I think that's really cool and that's really interesting. And I kind of like that. Doesn't make any sense how a sea creatures would turn into birds. But, you know, I'm sure I'm, it doesn't matter. It's a fantasy world. Um, Mevo stuff in Breath of the Wild is acceptable without any Mevo. Yeah, I like that. I Do you think that's, do you think that's like partly because um, Tears of the Kingdom isn't on the Wii U? Because Breath of the Wild was the the it was the switch like release game um it can't it was released same time as a switch so it was also for the wii u because it was initially being made for that console so it was on both so i can imagine that like the amiibo stuff they kind of like dropped because amiibo they still like work on the switch but i think they've really shifted their focus from amiibos to do other things since the era of the wii u ended um that's just me thinking about like game design stuff uh don't mind me okay i need to actually do the next part of this which is going to be going this way we need a 30 block deep hole and that is already two blocks deep um so we're gonna go here and we're gonna do this and we're also going to dump a bunch of my stuff in here um 
Okay, that will have to do. Uh, wait, I need these. And I have my water buckets. Um, let me organize this a little bit more. I do have a bunch of chests here. Um, but I need those for my other stuff. But I can make some more chests to dump things in because, oh god, my inventory. Beyond my ego. Why? Oh, I took those out of there with me. Okay. And so then I got myself a. Okay, there we go. And then we keep the torches on me. Um, we'll get Piggy Eater out. We need these. Because. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I will have water here. Oh. Okay. Um, if I, if I, if I make this go down further, will, will this be fine? No, nope. okay. No, it it's fine. That's fine. Um it is two blocks down. Oh wait, I should sleep first. That'd be a good idea. Just to protect myself. Uh, I hope there's no caves under here because that'd be really, really bad. How the Zoro evolved into the Rito is actually explained in Wind Waker. I will have to look at that. I watched um in the Littlewood play Wind Waker. I don't think when it first came out. I've also seen RT Games playthrough of it. Um, more recently, but that was still like when he played it on stream last, so that was a while ago. Um, okay, this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, no, this is a this is a problem. This is a problem. Okay, we'll do it like this because I think I think that will solve our problems. There we go. Okay, wonderful. And now let's get to the counter. I'm gonna have to count, guys. It's gonna be bad. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is five. Uh, this is six. Seven. Shit. Um. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eight, nine. Ten. Um. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, 28, Twenty nine, thirty. Okay, and then what we do is um, first we mine out with space. Oh, I forgot to bring ladders with me. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we mine out with space, and I put my torches in here, uh, and then we put you. Oh, wait, no, I can't put you there because, well, that does that, but that's not the reason. Uh, it's because I need... Yeah. It's because I need to be able to put the thing down. Uh, okay. Um, we're also going to need to put a thing here, and we're going to have a column in the middle here later. Um... 
I didn't bring any of the stuff that I needed to bring. So we're just going to go up and hope the best. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's already broken, so we're just going to do this. Okay. That'll give us an easy up. Um, and I can't put that in yet because that'll kind of break things. And I have plenty of cobblestone to fix this. Um... What I should have really done is get the coordinates for over here so I know where to dig to um, for the middle bit. So that is... Kitty, don't move me, please. Uh, 6, 2, minus 5, 3, 8, 6. Okay, put that in my chat. Oh god, I can't get out of here now. Um, There you go. Could go anywhere, but only for tonight. Oh, good girl, Peanut. You be silly. You be silly, girl. Okay. But yeah, Zelda. I like Zelda. I want to know more about Zelda. <laughs> but I struggle to play the Zelda games, and that's on me. That's on me. I remember really liking Hyrule Warriors, though. I watched like a playthrough of that, and I was super happy. Uh, I just like. I don't think it's not a well-written game, but it's a it's a pretty looking game. I like the character design in it specifically. I'm I could just jump down. I will not just jump down. That is a bad idea, Jay. You are not jumping down. You're going to swim. Because that's safer. Good job. I did it! Um, okay, and then what we do is that. And then this. Um, and I forgot to grab something that I needed. A surprise tool that will help us later. Um, but but that's okay. Oh, no. That's not okay. Need to... Let me in. Whoa! This is difficult! Okay, we're just gonna go down this side. And slowly but surely... There is water down there. Okay. Just gonna slowly but surely do this. Okay, no. We're not gonna fall backwards! Because that fool will fucking kill me. Um, it's okay though. Because now we have a water bucket. And I'm going to actually grab the ladders that I need for this. Um, swim. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. I need ladders for that. That's not fully work. Uh, because I am stupid. And was only going to make this too high. And then I didn't make this too high. Now it's too high. Um, and now I need these, and this is the dangerous bit. So, deep breaths, and ascend, <laughs> ascend. Pretty funny if you don't think about the timeline consistencies in the games. Yeah, I think, I think that's the thing. I think Zelda has done, um, Zelda as a game has made it possible for every game to exist within the same timeline, but the thing is, Different people will make different games for the franchises that they are doing. And those games are not always going to have the same continuity or the same quality of writing or whatever. Um, so unless like something is a direct sequel, like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, they are in the same universe. They are a direct sequel of each other. Um, Majora's Mask is set after Ocarina of Time. Um, it's the same link. I'm I'm like ninety percent sure it's the same link. Um, Wind Waker. Um, I fa yeah, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks are all the same um, universe. 
Uh, unless it's something like that, I think you just kind of got to take the timeline with like a massive grain of salt. Um, because, you know, that's just a thing. I should have done the downward one first, shouldn't I? Now nah, it's fine. I'll grab two more ladders. Um, because I'll just destroy this and then I'll put the thing down and everything will be fine. And boop. And boop. And, and this will zoop everything down. Yippee! But you find that with a lot of game series, like not all of the not all of the Fire Emblem games are set in the same universe. I don't think. I know Fates is set in a well. Actually, Fates might just be an earlier point of the timeline. Fates is a bad game, so I'm gonna take it for a screen of salt. But um, Free Houses is a completely different continuity and universe than like the rest of the Fire Emblem games because the Fire Emblem in that game isn't like an emblem. Um, there's that 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 game has a completely different continuity than all the others. Um, also, where do I need to go? Okay, we're already at the thing, correct thing there. So we just need to be minus 3,386. Um, so let's just mine this way until we get there. We are apparently above a massive cave, so I am slightly concerned with, for my health. Um, what is it? It's like 86. 86. Okay, well, that, that's 88. 86, okay. That should be the middle point of where we need to go down to. So we'll, we'll dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Um, all the way over here. And you know we'll we'll, we'll make this kind of wide. Um, Please don't over when it's over. What it was to sunrise with you. I won't over when it's over. I wake up with the fondest memories. You think the creators of Zelda series didn't really think about a timeline until Skyward Sword, which was the Zelda game that came out just before Breath of the Wild. Was it Skyward Sword? Wait, 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 wait. Was that? Holy shit, wait, was Skyward Sword the last Zelda game before Breath of the Wild? I didn't, I didn't realize that. I mean, I know they had like the remake of Majora's Mask, but that was just a remake. And they had like the remaster of Wind Waker. But again, those were just like older games that were that were being like given like a graphic update or just moving on to later consoles. That was the last game. I, before that was Twilight Princess, wasn't it? Was there, no, was there no like fucking DS games in between that? I swear there was like a D, like some of the like shitty Toon Link, not that they're shitty, but like, you know, Mish Cap or something. Was that really? Oh, wow. I, I didn't realize that. What? Wait, wait, I, I, need, to, I need to Google this. Wait. Um. Okay, wait, what Zelda game came out before Breath of the Wild? Skyward Sword... Wah. Wait, 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 let, let, let's see this. It has release order, release order. Um... Oh my fucking god, yeah, fucking Skyward Sword. Thanks for the Wii! That was 2011! That was the fuck! Actually, no, that makes sense, because they spent like seven... They spent like seven years making Breath of the Wild. They spent a long time... <coughs> They spent a long time doing that game. 
3D Zelda games, I think, but they're 3DS games that came in between. Yeah, like, this isn't including any of those. It goes from the, um, it, it goes from, like, the first Zelda game down to the most recent one, but it doesn't include, like, Minish Cap or, um, what the fuck? Minish Cap is the only other one I'm remembering right now. The one with the painting. But that was a remake one, wasn't it? There were, like, two of those. Um... The one where you are Lincoln and you could turn into a painting. Um and and now they're doing like a chibi Zelda game, which I'm happy about because more Zelda content, please. Um But fuck, like I knew I knew Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword came out like one after the other. Like they're like a few years apart. They look very similar, probably like maybe not the same engine, but Holy shit. That's such a big time jump between game releases. I wasn't really like I I, I liked Zelda, but I wasn't like into Zelda in the in between years. Um before Breath of the Wild came out. But that's fucking wild. That's definitely not the like longest a game franchise that had to wait in between releases of a game, like. Um like I when did when did God of War? Um when did all the God of War games come out? Because I know 2018 was and then 2022 was Ragnarok. God of War 3 was 2010. That was eight years, my dude. Wow. That's like about the same the same length for those. But wow. I mean, it just goes to show, games can take a long time. Came out six, seven years after Breath of the Wild, so that's not surprising. I mean, it's not, it's not surprising. Um, but like, I don't know. I, I guess that, like, the this jump between Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild feels better. Um, because, I don't know, I don't know. I get, I guess I just kind of forget that some game companies spend a really long time working on their games because I keep looking at Pokemon and being like, oh, they have like an almost like every year release of a new Pokemon game and then I hate it um, because they're bad. But I guess, you know, can't judge against a bad model, really. I just had, I just had never thought about it before. I just had never really thought about it. Uh, design was mostly done by the same people that made the Xenoblade. That's so fun! One of my favourite things about Tears of the Kingdom um is how like the Zonai, even though we get to see Zonai in the game, they're still largely a mystery. Like we don't know a lot about their civilization um, or anything. So it leaves a lot for like the theory brains. It's it's one of my favorite things when you could have like an ancient world that you don't get all the answers to because it's one, it, it reflects like real life. Like we'll never have all the answers to to what life was like for for a Viking who, who was living um, like pre christianization of their culture or like what it was like in Macanaean Greece or, or any of that sort of stuff. Like our, our records just aren't good enough and weren't preserved well enough, but um, it's just really interesting. And I like that they encapsulated that. And they also like Breath of the Wild is a post-apocalypse after like a hundred years of, of Link not being able to stop Calamity Ganon. And then when you're exploring that world, it does feel like Apo kind of apocalyptic with all the civilizations at the outskirts of the map and like stables in between just to help people you know not die in the wilderness um and tis the kingdom is a couple years after and they're rebuilding hyrule and they're putting the world back together so it's a lot more lively but they capture that sense of isolation in the depths and in the sky islands because you can find other people and characters in the depths who fall down into those holes um but they're creepy and terrifying as fuck the Skylands, only you and like a couple of robots are up there. And some of those robots aren't friendly. So it, it's just, it just, it just, in, it encapsulates that same like loneliness. Um, whilst also being a game that is very much power of friendship, which I, I love. I love. I've watched too much about this game. I watched a full stream playthrough that Only Sarcastic Productions did. And it was like so long. It took me two days to watch the edited RT game playthrough. It took me like five days to watch all of Overly Sarcastic Productions playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. There are so many streams. There are so many streams. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I need to dig down from there now. 
Um, let me shove some of this junk in here. Because that was the purpose of doing this, is so that I would not dig a hole straight down and then get stuck. Oh, now there's two cats in here! Okay, kitties. We're going down together. Um, and then and then you're going to live down here with me. Good thing cats don't take fall damage. They're not like there's going to be a big fall. It's like three blocks. We're going down, down in a newly around. But yeah, I just like lore. I should I should read more. I should I should read more. I really want to read Journey to the West, but I have to actually get my hands on those books. Um, and that'd probably be expensive. Oh god, please, kitty. Please, please, kitty. Please get out of there. Please, 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 please. Don't sit in that block. I need to fill that gap in. Please. No! Eh. 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 Thank you. I've got to be careful. These cats. I mean, actually, I might be able to get them out of the bubble elevator. If I try hard enough. If I try hard enough, I thought that copper was um, lava for a hot second there. If I try hard enough, I might be able to get the two of them up the bubble elevator. But do I want to try that hard? I could probably just get some fish and tame them. Um, I'm sure I'll have some use for these two cats. I mean, at some point I want to get all of the cat breeds. Um... So that could be, that could be cute. But let's just keep going down. What was the, what was the level that we were at in that other bit? Yo, thank you so much, Napra, for the raid. I hope you had a lovely, lovely stream. What were you, what were you doing? Once well, if you could do a shout out, that would be lovely. Uh, welcome to the hardcore world. We are building an iron farm, another iron farm, because my last one broke and, oh, that's a cave. Oh, that's water, no. No, 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 no. Cats, don't. Hey, hey, cats, do you wanna? <coughs> 32, I thought it was. Uh, please, yes, yes, over here, over here. Okay. You can't leave, kitties, because if you leave, you will die! No! Fuck you! Please come back! I don't want you to die in the cave! No! Oh, fuck. Okay. That guy- that guy's dead. Come on, in, in, okay. Uh, so, so I'll put a light down. Uh, there you go, okay. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. No! Okay. Yep, go up. Can't fall out now. Okay. Uh, and now go in here. Please. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh my god! I'm trying to save you cats! You play Minecraft mostly? Q! I hope you didn't have as much trouble with bitches like I'm having. Uh, come on, come on guys. Come on. Okay, no, no, in, in. Mm. Can you not? Okay! Oh, sorry, I hit the cat. Well, you deserve it. Stop it! I am really trying so hard not to get you guys killed. 
It was your fault for falling into... I'm let my girlfriend now. It was your fault for falling into the iron farm in the first place. You're just lucky there's no lava down here yet. You hear me, kitty? You could die. How would that feel? When is any, when is any, like, AI in, in a video game? Okay, there we go. We're, we're, we're down. We're good. Okay. Let's just get in here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, no. Cat. No. Go in the other one. Go on, in the other one. You nearly got yourself killed twice. No. <sighs> okay, they're just Minecraft cats. They're just Minecraft cats. You don't have to save them. Kitty, kitty, kitty. If I hit you again, you're going to die. Run. Go on. See? Siamese has a good idea. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Please. Thank you. Goodbye. Wait a goddamn minute. Wait a goddamn fucking minute. Wait a goddamn fucking minute. Okay, that, that one isn't doing anything anymore. Uh, oh god, I've screwed myself over now. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, and then I just need to... Oh, that fixed itself. Okay, we're good. We're good? We're good. We're good, okay. Now I can watch the rest of this fucking video! Oh my god. So, chests and then the hoppers. Okay. Okay, let me go and grab the chests and the hoppers. Oh my god. I should have just let the cats die. It's okay. I did a good thing. I'll get I'll 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 get fabulous wealth in this silly little Minecraft game because I saved two two little little kitties. I nearly said a different word for cat there and that wouldn't have been good. Um I should not do that. Okay, I need you guys. I need I need more fence gates, don't I? It only told me to bring eight, but I, I know for a fact that I need actually no way I need signs, which I did bring. And that I do have. Oh, no. Yep, this isn't working. This isn't working like it should be. So I need to fix that. Okay. Yeah. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate, Ash. I will do that in a minute. Okay, just gotta get up here before I die. Please, 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 there we go. Okay. And now, down. There we go. And now, destroy. And kill. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're happy and we're good. Get all of the kelp. Then over here, we have big hole. Big hole, go to chest trio. Chest trio. Gonna have each their own individual row of hoppers. And then above that, we need um signs there we 
there we go. And then on top of those signs, um, we need a lava bucket. Um, and then I'm also going to want some extra blocks because I think golems are free tool, so they shouldn't be able to get, um, into here, but I still want to get, um, some, some thingamabobs. I'll run upstairs and make those with the blocks that I have right now, actually. You know what? We've almost been here for three hours and, um... <laughs> We technically almost have it done. It's just the villagers, but I can't do anything with those until the villagers have been born. So I'm gonna add filters so you can automate blocks and crafting. Yes, I will. Um I'm thinking by having this like like split into three, I can I can make it extra efficient. Um What I will hmm what I might end up doing is adding another row um, of things. Actually, I don't know how... I don't know how to do item filters. Um, because I'm... I, I'll probably look up a video where someone does this in an iron farm because I need to filter out the poppies. Um... And I'm not a smart cookie, so <laughs> that's going to be the hardest part of this, I think, is going to be actually filtering out those because everything else is just going to be like hopper into um, crafter into chest. And then I will just have like a lot of hoppers hooked up to a lot of chests. So this area is probably going to expand a lot. But for now, this is all that we need. Um, and let me do this. And that is the easy part done. <laughs> um, and then I'll skip ahead. And we can set up the pockets um, for these guys. Castles in the sky. Oh wait, this also wants sand, doesn't it? Or like, my old one had glass holes so that I could see. Oh, and I brought some glass. Yay. Okay. And it's a count blocks, three, one, two, three. And on the third block, remove three blocks like this. So I want to do this. And I want that to be on every side. So one, two, Three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Um, let's see what else I have to do. Make a hole that is six deep. Um, okay, I'm also I'm gonna dump I'm gonna dump more stuff. That more stuff and I'm gonna grab what I think I need um for for this which is mainly beds um and trapdoors um and I also will take a ladder because I'm gonna need to make an easier access point than what I had in my old one of these so it said to go six down so one two wait is it six Is it six from? Okay, it's it's including this one. So one, two, three, um, four, five, six. Um, and then make a three by three room. Uh, what what side do I want to do this on? That's in. I'm gonna go out. Okay. Ah! Good thing I wasn't standing there. Okay, well I guess we get more sand then. With Ed. 
and cover it. Okay, there's my free by free room. Um, and I'll fill it in with some cobblestone. Oh, that's not free by free. There we go. Okay. Um, dig away, which I did do. Went drill there. Place down free birds with. Oh, I need. Uh, if I. F oh, I can fly out of here. Yeah, okay. And I need slabs. I only brought eight slabs. I think that's all the slabs that I need, but I will grab this. You learned that finding commission people is scary. Um, that you find commission people Ah, oh, that's that's fair. I've only commissioned um, excluding Mars, who is my friend and will kind of do art for me. Um, when I ask sometimes, the only person who I've actually a officially commissioned for anything has been Kaloway um, for the Mythful Monthly background. Because the thing about being an artist is that I do all of the art myself because I'm cheap. Um, so that that's just a, a thing about me. Okay. Um, then this is like that. And then we have a trapdoor goes there um okay and then dig out a three by two room so this just needs to expand by one more oh hi sand nice to see ya nice to see ya um oh wait no this one uh they do it like this which i not sure if i did in my old one can't remember um place torches here to prevent spawning uh i i really don't need that many so we'll just put this many and then they put a boat down in the middle um I did not bring the boats with me. And then out of that done, you make a staircase out. Okay. Did not bring the boats with me. But I will go out and grab the boats. Uh which this might end me up in the water, which would not be great. But actually it shouldn't. Uh yeah, no, it doesn't. Look, here I am. Perfect! And this is what the trapdoors are for. Uh, we'll just double check the method of his madness. Yep. Uh, and they put a torch on every step to make sure that spawning does not happen down here. So I'll do the same. Just for hypocrisy's sake. Um, and then I don't actually need ladders that I was going to use. So that's good. And then I'll get my glass. So we can see into there and make sure the villagers are in there. Um, actually, what I might end up doing um, is just p pushing, using the minecart to push the villagers into here directly from above. Um, so let me actually take that back. Because they'll be fine. Nothing will go wrong if I do that because they'll land on the bed and they're in a minecart, so I don't think they will even take full damage. Um uh, they have they have it so you replace this one at the end with just like a full block so that nothing can get down there. Um or like nothing can get out. Um, oh, because the zombie. Okay, yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. We're not. I. I think we're not going to do the zombie or the um. The other thing today, uh, I don't think we're going to. We're going to do that. Um, 
by other thing I mean the villagers. Uh, we will go check on the villagers though to see what they're doing. Um, because I am curious, but I should probably just repeat this process. Um, so down six, three by three space, the thing of evolve and the thing of evolve, and okay, I I can I can figure it out. I figure it out. Okay, this is one. This is where I get it completely wrong. Two, three. Four, five, six, and then we dig it this way to make it a three by three. And I did not bring the beds with me, um, so that is already point one down to me. But we do. No, not there. We do this with that. And then. We dig into here and we want to make a two by two room. Um, but we also want to give it kind of scallopy bits and then torch here, torch here, torch here. Beds will go there and then we mine out. Yeah, I did this the right side. Yes. Okay, good. Awesome. Amazing. Wonderful. Uh, we dig out here. Oh, yeah, that's super easy. Okay. I remember how to do it. Yippee! I am losing stamina. Yippee! It's okay. It's okay. We're, ge we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. We are going to be done. And then we'll check on our villagers before we finish. Um, and ow, my ankles. Uh, there we go. The attention that you wanted, but I just don't have the energy. Also, did not grab the boats, but that is fine. Oh, also, torches. So, back though that you're a definite coward, and I think it might be time for you to go. I put that away again. I don't know why I'm rushing. I have no reason to rush or do anything. The only, the only purpose I have for ending is because I am EP, but I'm also. I'm not bored. I just don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I just don't really want to do it anymore. Uh, it's needed. I'm very glad that I'm I'm setting it up, but I just don't want to do it right now. Um, but we'll we'll finish up these these pods. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it's so when you try to vision someone, you see me support. That's fair. I think I understand that um a lot because I get really anxious about DMing people who I am not familiar with. Um, it's worse when you have to either ask for something or tell somebody something. And I forgot the beds again. Um, I I've definitely done that before, where I've I've had to have like people there for moral support with me because I had to message somebody for one thing or another and I and I freaked myself out about it. Um, it's very valid. It's just anxiety. Anxiety just kind of is like that, unfortunately. Um, but it's okay. It's a, it's a more normal thing than a lot of people would really give credit for. So there's nothing wrong with it. Not on you. Okay, let me go up this way. We'll go grab those. We'll grab all the bits this time because I just need all of them for the next one that I'm going to do. Um, and then we'll also, once we've done the second one, we'll also... Um, I don't want to get the boats yet because the thing about it is that... Uh, well, I have to put the zombie in last because the zomb getting the zombie in will probably be easier than getting the villagers in um just with the boat being there but it's also not going to be super duper easy it really just depends on if i can get the boat placement right which is again easier said than done um actually wait remove that because i need to get out of here um 
No, I love the micro screen suit for me. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, your design in particular, it's a very simple design, um, but because it's all like gray tones, it, it can be a little bit difficult to balance on a Minecraft skin in particular, because at least with my Minecraft skins, I do very minimal shading just for simplicity and speed kind of. It's just a style that I like to do, but it was it was very fun. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you for commissioning me. My commissions are still open if anybody wants stuff. I offer more than just Minecraft skins, but um, I know I know it's money. And I mean, I already said I never commission people because I, I'm a cheap bitch, so it's very fair. Um, okay, one, two. I didn't grab the rest of those beds like I said I was going to, so we're going to go do that before I continue doing my shit. My god. Jay doing something? Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This way is the way that I need to go. We're attached because I'm so cynical through it all. Okay. Yep. That's a sandy mess. No, you wanna. Hot start to another day. In the dark, am I a monster gonna hide away? Okay, we do this. Here. Okay. That is right. Um, but then we need. Okay, there we go. This name. Okay. Boat goes here. Exit goes here. So cynical through it all. Um, yeah, this is correct. They're just sand and the sand is throwing me off. Okay. Here we go. Torch, 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 torch. Not torch. Uh, and that's good. That's done. I will need to, well, I need to break these in order to get out. Um, but I can get all the villagers in once they've been born with just minecarts and shoving them into the holes. I just need three in each, which means I need 12 villagers. Um, and then it's just getting a zombie, which I've left that area of the island unlit. So hopefully I can get some over there. Who knows? Who knows really? Highly inspired uh, race from Xenoblade. That's very, very fun. I like fantasy races. I think they're very, very cute. I think they're very, very cute and fun. Uh, let's see how these guys are doing. No babies. Okay. Uh, let me get the wheat. Because if you will not make babies normally, I will feed you until you do. Hi guys! Hey gamers! How you doing? Um... You get that. Where, where'd the other guy go? Are you stealing each other's bread? Oh, they're making babies now. Okay, I'll give you guys some privacy. Oh, wait. There you go. I'm giving them privacy. I'm, I'm giving them privacy. <laughs> Do you have a baby? I don't see a baby. Hello, Skylar! Hello! I'm trying to make it a baby. I'm trying to make it a baby. I've missed you, Skylar. I've missed you so much. I still don't see a baby, but it might be lost in the crops. I don't think it can spawn below the crops. If it could, that would be a blessing because then I um, wouldn't have to bother. 
Um, but we were doing a lot of work today. I had to build a new iron farm in my hardcore world because the last one, um, the, the zombies killed a bunch of the villagers, so it broke. But we're in the farm area. Over there we have a creeper farm and a sugarcane and bamboo farm. This is a new villager breeder with lightning protection and a new iron farm set all ready. I just need to get the villagers in. Um, and the zombies. Uh, easier said than done. I could probably try and get the zombies ahead of time because I just need to like put a bunch somewhere that I can lead them during the night. So I could technically get them at any time and just secure them for later. <laughs> A surprise tool that we'll that we'll make use of later. I'm just gonna hope they spawn over here. Um and that I can lead them over. Uh, but that's gonna be that's gonna be a trial and a half. At least the area is done. I know there's other kinds of iron farms that you can make which are like floating. Um or like maybe they're more efficient. I like doing this one because you don't have to like bother with like heights or anything. It's just in the ground. It's easy, it's simple, it doesn't require a lot of brain power. And that's stuff that I like is when they don't require a lot of brain power. Actually, what I'm actually gonna do. Um I'm gonna add this so we can have a cool little jump bit so we can get this from the other side. Hell yeah. Look at me, I'm cool. Um still no offspring, please. Do you guys have to go to sleep before the baby appears? Should I wait? I'll, I'll wait for night time and we'll see if you have a kid and then I'll release the kid into the wild. Or by the wild, I mean get him downstairs. I can open the, the trap door from downstairs, actually. Um, and I, I Can I actually wait? That's a good question. Can I, from in here, I can close the trap door. Yay! Perfect. I need them to just go into their bedroom and then when it is night I will um I will do that and we'll see if they have a baby in the morning. But uh we'll we'll wait for that. We'll wait for that. That'll be our our waiting thing. I could go wait in the crow's nest. Um We'll have another check on how things are going over here. Oh maker. What's that voice I'm not from watching them? I mean, they, hey, as as we all know, video game characters don't look up. So as far as they're aware, it's privacy. That is so much bamboo. That gives me something else to do. That gives me something else to do. Um, let's get both of these inside here. Okay, so we're gonna get one, two. Three, four, five. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just it will. This will add like twenty more um, sugarcane to our output, theoretically. I think sugarcane just grows slower than bamboo. So, oh wait, this is gonna um, hit me in a minute, isn't it? It'll only be for a second. I'll live. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Where? Can I get out of this before it goes? Uh, maybe not. I don't know how the timer on this thing works. I just know it's a daylight sensor. Okay. Mission successful. Uh, we're gonna wait for this to pulse and then afterwards I'll go in the other side. I kind of just forgot that it was going to slam me against the wall. <laughs> I can make this a lot safer if I was going in. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, four. Oh no. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Minor hiccup. This is why we don't use a pickaxe. Uh, one, two. <laughs> the minecart picked it up. <sighs> I'm gonna 
wait for the pulse again. Oh, it won't even go in here. There's the glass. There's the moss. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll wait for the next pulse. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That is one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. And then we go to the end. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can make it stop this. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry about it. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to move a bunch of this bamboo out. Um. Cause, cause otherwise it's gonna be bad. Okay. I'm gonna move all the bamboo over here. Uh, it's actually pathetic how much that fucking scared me. And it happened like f t f twice. Okay, we're just gonna do that because our priority here is sugarcane. Um, and I would rather waste the bamboo because look how much bamboo we have already. Oh, who did it? I thought you were in it. It did! It did! Uh -huh. It would be harmless. Yeah, it's it's literally for a second and it pushes you into glass. Like, that's not going to suffocate you. Um, But it still scared me. It still scared the shit out of me. Okay, I don't understand how the pulse thing works on there. I guess it's just like... I'm I'm guessing it's whenever the sun ticks to a new like well, not whenever the sun ticks because that would be like insane but it's something I doubt the creeper farm has done anything I wouldn't be able to tell because I have not checked it in a while um but we're looking good on gunpowder I haven't AFK'd here since the after I first built it but we have plenty of we have plenty of gunpowder so it's not a big deal um ah. It'd be so funny if I just killed myself flying over the Elytra in a video game. Um, obviously, Elytras don't exist in real life. Um, mind if I did, though. That'd be so fun. Okay. Here we go. It's getting dark. It's getting night. Um, before you did the second half of the farm. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I technically got hit when it when it first moved as well because I was like in by one block, but it just I think I backed out maybe I don't know. Okay, hey guys, do you have a child? Have you made one yet? Should I put your beds together? Will that inspire you to make a baby? Join, join, join your friend. Join your friend. Join your, join your friend. No, I will just do that. Go to bed. Go to bed. Are you stuck on the ladder? Go to bed. Okay then. Have a child. I remember I had, I had trouble with the first one of these that I made with getting to have a baby. Um, I scythe. Just a scythe. Okay. You guys can't do anything and I see no baby so unless it has fallen into the depths. Oh! I saw something move. It could have just been the torch though. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go downstairs and check. 
whilst whilst they um can go back into the crops or just kiss each other that's also fine no no child okay uh, this is gonna be my biggest nightmare is trying to get these guys to do fucking anything um it should just work but i probably just need to give them more bread I, I guess that's my issue. I mean, they made the love hearts. They made the love hearts and everything. So like, they should have a baby. You guys not want a baby? Do, do you guys not want children? I You kind of have to. I'm sorry. Villagers don't get rights. You're not people. Uh I'm kidding, you're my unpaid interns, and I would love it if you if you had a child that I could put into my iron farm. Pretty please. Pretty please. Nice 69 points. Hey, 69k points. Hey. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave these guys to it. Um I will I will try. I will I will try and come on here and get them to to do the babies and make it the babies. I don't think being in my I'm, see this is the this is the thing. I don't think being in my crow's nest that far away will also allow them to do their breeding thing. So I'll probably have to just AFK on top of them, and that won't do anything for the creeper farm. So kind of got a multitask in this place, um, unfortunately. Um, the roots too short, then they won't breed. Well, all right then. Uh. Guess you don't get a roof then! I'm guessing it's just because I use slabs then, if if that's the case. Uh, I'll also, for just sake, get rid of this and make it one higher. Um, because my last one didn't have a roof. Um, my last one didn't have a roof and it worked perfectly fine. But now this has a roof and it is about the same height that it would be in a normal villager house so that should work fine i now also cannot leave uh, it's okay second exit <laughs> that works uh i'll get another ladder and put it in the actual thing um but i should add it in here your darkness. Actually, I'm going to grab another one of these uh, because I have it. Oh, look, they're alive. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Uh, get another one of these. Double trapdoor because I want to do that. Um, honestly, I, I don't even need there to be a trapdoor there. I just want to be able to open. I want to I want to be able to, to click down at this from above and also below. Um, there we go. Now I can get in and out. Um, it's going to take like 20 minutes for it to get night again. Or like it, it takes, t day cycle 10 minutes. Um, night to finish is, is, is 20, but I'm going to sleep with night. So we'll wait again. We'll wait again. And and if if the higher roof doesn't doesn't let them do stuff, the roof in here shouldn't fucking matter because this is just where they get their their food to feed themselves. Um, it should just be in here. That is important, I think, because they have to sleep, right? Right. Should I make the roof here higher as well? Uh... Wait, I don't want to ruin the crops. Okay. The things I do. The things I do. I'm saying this like I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for me. I'm, my motivations are purely selfish. My pure my, my motivations are purely to build an epic economy that I can exploit for my own personal gain. Uh, you know, speaking of Zelda lore and all of that earlier, I, I I jumped. I did not break the crops. I am a god. Um roof above the beds okay that's what i was thinking i'm going to do this anyway 
Because I swear to God. Because, because I swear to God. I will not be foiled by some pesky villagers. I will not. I will not. Um, but, um, I want to, I want to, like, have some, some cool lore stuff in this world, but I feel like a survival world, a hardcore world especially, where you're trying to survive, you can't, like, RP in that. I mean, I'm sure people have, but I'm sure it's kind of removed the authenticity of the world being hardcore, um, in one way or another, if that, if that even makes a lick of sense. Um... Uh, I mean, honestly, if I have a lightning rod, they probably don't need a glass roof, but I'm going to give them one anyway, um, because the crops will like it more. Um, but I want to have some kind of lore going on. I, I don't know what I really do with it. I think I mentioned last stream, because I was always talking about Zelda, that, like, going off of that one theory that MatPat had, that the player character was, like, the the last of some kind of race and minecraft world was post-apocalyptic like going with that vibe of things and like my character is the last like human or something or like whatever creature i want to be in this particular universe and everything else is like a not non-sentient but like kind of kind of different um the villagers exist, but they're not the same. They're not the same as me. They're not me. You only sweeter. Okay, we'll do we'll do this just to make it look pretty. Not that this box particularly looks pretty from the outside. I tried something with it. It's got layers. It's got it's got function. It's got style. You know, it's it's cute. Um, torches. Boop. 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 Okay, that gave us something to do. Um, if nothing else, if that does nothing to make this work better, um, at least it at least we made it look a little a little nicer. Um, you know, I'll I'll leave these, I'll leave those like that. Yeah, this does not look pretty at all. It's just a box. <laughs> it's just a box, but you know, it's a pleasant box. It's a smooth box. I could put notes on the walls. I could I could write your guys' names on the walls. I could I could write um I I could I could I could I could I could I could Anyway, um I could do whatever I wanted with this blank canvas um that I have created for myself. But what will I do is procrastinate doing any other work on this. Um, as as is my wont. As is my wont. Um, it's chill though. It's chill. Next stream that we do in this world will probably be us finishing up this farm. I will try and come on as much as I can to get these villagers breeding so that we have 12 lovely little fellas in this bottom room. And we'll go back to my my base and grab all of the rails and minecarts that I'm gonna need in order to cart them around to their respective holes. And then we'll get zombies and put them into their boats. And everything will be good and everything will be fine. And we'll have a new iron farm. And I will get chickens. I will get chickens and I will put the chickens into the boats. So that nothing else can get in. I mean, I could just put two zombies in in every um hole i could put two zombies in the holes but that's effort that's effort that's a lot of effort that's a lot of effort for me that's a lot of effort for me but i could try and do that it just we just need it so that the actually just boats i'm a genius i'm a genius Mobs can go in chest boats, and chest boats can only fit one person! Oh, I'm so smart, guys! Oh, look at me! Oh, look at me! Okay, let's do this. I'm doing this right now because I will forget my own genius. Um, where... I mean, I have wood here, but I kind of wanted to use acacia because it's ugly. Um... 
I kind of wanted to use my acacia wood because it's ugly. Do I have any... Wow, I really got rid of it all? Wow. Oh, I, yeah, I turned it all into slabs just now, didn't I? <laughs> That's what happened to it. Uh, okay, fine, we'll use Bruce. Um, need four chests. And then chest boat. Chest boat. Chest boat. Chest boat. I am so smart. I am so smart. Uh, actually, we'll just we'll just keep those in my inventory because I'm gonna need those for next time. So I might as well keep them on me. Oh, it's night time! It's night time! It's night time! Eh. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that quickly, and I'm gonna go. Sleeping isn't going to mess this up. They don't have to go through a whole day-night cycle, do they? I can sleep and it will work, right? Esh. Esh. Uh, if, if I sleep, we should still get a baby, right? I don't have to wait the full night cycle, do I? Please tell me that's not the case. Please. Please tell me that's not the case. Me, please. I don't want to look it up myself. I'm scared. I'm wait. I'm waiting. You have no idea, but you think they need to be fed again. Oh fuck me. Okay. Well, they're asleep now. Ugh. 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 I don't want to wait another, however many minutes. It's going to take for the day night cycle to start up again. I'm gonna wake them up. I'm gonna kick them out of their beds. We're gonna kick them out of their beds and we're gonna feed them. And then we'll put their beds back. I- <gasps> No, it's me! I was right! It worked! Oh, look at that! Okay. They had a- they had a child. And if I go in here, the- the parents, they can't- they can't do shit. Wait, let me make sure, let me make sure that I close the gate. Yes, I did close the gate. Okay. Now the child just needs to walk into the hole. Hello, child. Would you like to go on an, on, on an adventure away from your beloved parents? Yes. Go. Bye-bye. Here, you guys. Oh, you had another one. No, you're not you're not allowed food, child. No. Into the mines. Please. You'll go in eventually. I know you will. Bounce in the bed all you want, kid. Bounce in the bed all you want. Actually, I could have left them down here uh, up here. Because because then I would have four villagers and huh. That's all I could do. Oh, hey. Red here. No. It's fine. We only need two up here. I'll I'll let the next the next two that they that they have um can can stay up here. But yay! That's two, that's two, that's two good good boys. Two good boys. You guys can go back to your field now. Yay, it works! Okay. I'll I'll get all the villagers that we need by the next time we do this. Um We need 12 of them in here. Which is gonna be a nightmare. I I might actually end up moving them off stream into their things so and we can get the zombies. It depends on how um how I feel in the week and if I actually remember to log on uh when I'm not live. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of the stream for today. We've been we've been very productive. We've got a lot of stuff done. Um, I am tired. This has been a good almost four hours, three and a half hours of um farm building, and and now it's raining. Uh we've made a lot of progress is is what matters. That's all that matters. Um So we're going to Is anyone live? We didn't raid anybody last time because nobody Nobody was live. Um, uh, Kidding of Birds seems to be live. Um, few people that I know are live. What is? 
What's Kedigobo doing? I can't even post doing. Oh yeah, Kedigobo. <coughs> Uh, who would you guys rather rate? Do you want to see Katie or do you want to see Bagel? Because Bagel is doing a model, um, their new 3D model, um, what is it called? Um, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Bagel's doing their 3D model debut and Katie's doing MCCR Rising training. Um, because Katie's in MCCR and I'm so proud of her! Um, anyone who got a preference or or should I just should I just pick? Should I just pick? Cause hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, okay. I flipped a coin. I flipped a coin. Uh we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go see we're gonna go see Kitty Gaba. VTuber, yeah, Bagel has a new VTuber. You know what, you know I actually no, I won't I won't I won't do that. Um if you guys wanna go check out Bagel Queen's new VTuber, you definitely can. But we're gonna raid Kitty Gobur because um Kitty Gobur did the, the beloved. Oh wait, Kitty Gobur's been going for four hours. I think Kitty Gobur is ending. Yeah, Kitty Gobur is ending right now. Okay, we're going to Bagel. We are going to Bagel. Uh following. Don't go yet. Where is where is Bagel? There is Bagel. Okay. Bagel's got- oh, it's so cute! Bagel's got a new VTuber model that they're debuting today and and doing some just chatting and playing some Minecraft that seems to have just started. Um, so I hope you guys have a fun time. I will see you guys some other point this week. Um, probably Friday at the latest. If, I, if I'm not live another time in the week, I'll be live Friday. Um, and we'll probably be doing more hardcore. Um, we might do another Discord movie night on Sunday uh, if I feel up for it. I will confirm that on Friday when I do my next stream. So if you want to join for season one of Lego Monkey Kid, because that's probably what we're going to watch, um, then then there, yeah, Sunday, we'll do that. But I will see you guys uh, later. Love you all. Bye.